Yo, what's going on everybody? How's it going? Um, yeah, that's right. Take a look. Take a look. Breathe it in. Breathe, breathe it in. As uh, breathe it in as as Chris Jericho would say. Breathe it in, man. It's a wrestling reference. I know some people get it. Some people don't. Um, how's it going? This is not a, a surprise live. I saw someone post that in the chat. Um, no, you're not in trouble for not knowing, but on Tuesdays we do the game cast, which is something that I do. I play some games, hang out, smoke some hookah, all that kind of stuff. Um, what's on the smoking menu tonight? I'm not 100% sure what's on the smoking menu. I was thinking some tangiers, just because it's been a little while since I had some tangiers. But um, more importantly than that, we are going to be using the Relics Ring Bowl. And I'm doing it for a pretty big reason, not because I'm trying to show off or, or anything like that, like, hey, I got... I got a, a relics ring, and you guys, and someone don't have one. No, none of that. None of that, Jack. None of that. Uh, no, actually, it's because sadly, there's a member in our community that has been completely screwed over. And you, you know the AM Hookah podcast. We are like an unbiased place. We just hang out, chill. We tell the truth as it is, and stuff like that. And this is the truth, man. And we found out today. Um, if you are a part of, if you're a part of. Facebook, then you would you would have seen this. If you are not, that's fine, obviously. But Kyle Smith, the creator of the Relics Ring Bowl, let me go get my Relics Ring. I gotta go grab it real quick. Sorry about that. I know I should have it hanging out right next to me, obviously, but I didn't. That was my bad. Wednesday, Adrian should do movie reviews. That'd be pretty cool. I think we, we could talk him into that. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I want to do another. I want to do another uh, show. Uh, uh, do at least three shows a week is what we were thinking. So, yeah, this right here, the Relics Ring Bowl. This is the the Relics Ring without the uh, without the ring. And then the ring is right here. Here's what it looks like. You put them on top, and you're able to do this really cool foil job with it. Super innovative. Super creative. Absolutely fantastic. The creator of this is Kyle Smith. Kyle Smith, um, sadly, I missed something. I was out Christmas shopping. What went down? I don't even want to say it because it, it irks me and, and leaves such a bad taste in my mouth. So if you don't know already, Ron is the owner of Hookah Heroes. Hookah Heroes swindled a bunch of people out of money, um, did not follow through with a bunch of stuff, blamed a lot of other reasons for the case of it all happening. You know, it was never his fault, obviously. Uh, even had a family emergency that happened, you know. Uh, bless him if something terrible happened. I feel bad, but at the same time, there's one big problem. Kyle Smith teamed up with Hookah Heroes, even though he didn't have to, but he did because he believed that Kyle, that Kyle believed that Ron believed in him, and he wanted to show that support and say thank you for it, thank you for it. And he uh, he decided to go ahead and go with him and produce this bowl through the Hookah Heroes site, and he sold it through it. They sold out. Very quickly, obviously, he did this first in line thing that went horribly up in smoke. Not Kyle, Ron did with Hookah Heroes. Hookah Heroes closed down, and we found out today Ron has not paid Kyle for any of the bowls. In a post that he made on the THL group, THL, if you do not know, stands for the Hookah Lounge. They're a group on Facebook. Um, if you do or don't know, not a big deal. Uh, they're a very, very cool group. I'm a part of the group. I enjoy it quite a bit and stuff like that. But he did the very, very long post. I'm not going to read you the entire thing or nothing like that. Um, I'm going to read you just the, the uh, I don't know, I, I hate to call them highlights because they're not highlights. They're they're lowlights, man. They're they're horrible. They're, they're, they're something that just makes you feel bad because the community is not supposed to look like this in any way. Um, I'm sure you you are aware I partnered with Hookah Heroes to release a new bowl. This is Kyle talking. Credit to Daniel Newbert for the idea and selflessness to share it. The Relics Ring. As I write this presently, two months after the batch, I create uh, the batch I created was released and sold through the Hookah Heroes website. I have not been paid for any of the bowls. I have reached out to Ron, the owner operator, and on and on at least eight separate occasions over that time period and his responses have gone from initial promises of payment by set dates without follow-through to family emergencies to refusing to discuss a timetable or give any clarity as to why he won't pay in lieu of expressing that I owe him a higher level of trust due to his patience with me throughout the do uh, throughout the off uh, delay process from creating the bulls so, not only did Ron not pay him, at one point Ron attacked Kyle 
saying that Kyle needed to be more patient of Ron. It, it sickens me to my core. I've met I met Ron when I was in Vegas. I thought he was a cool dude in the in the in the sense that like having a conversation with him was easy to do. I cannot speak on his character or or anything other than the fact that I had a five minute conversation with him that went well. And sadly, everything is blown up in his face. He has absolutely no ability to recover from this, as I don't think he deserves to recover. I'm I'm not an aggressive person, nor do I throw shade at anybody in this industry. No matter the amount of dislike that I may or may not have for somebody in my actual mouth, I will not th start throwing shade. It's not my personality. But this type of person is not welcome on the AM Hookah podcast. This person is not welcome in anything that I partake in when it comes to hookah relations. Make it known and clear. I, I, I don't care if, if 50 people see this video, if 5 people see this video. I don't care if nobody sees this video because it's something that needs to be said. That a guy like Ron does not deserve anything that happens that is good in this industry. Family emergencies are one thing. Not owning up to your own debt is a completely different thing. This didn't happen overnight, right? Like, that's the thing. If, if the day the Relics Ring released... And then the next day, something terrible happened and shop closed down. Everybody would be very patient and calm with it. That's not how this happened. It shut down slowly. Then it shut down large. And then all of a sudden, you weren't able to get in contact with him. Then you weren't able to get a refund from him. Then we find out two months after this was released, two months after it was released, he has yet to make payment to the person that created something with his bare hands and sold it through his website. Absolutely ridiculous. Let me take a look at some of these comments if you have anything that you want to put in here. Ignorance get you nowhere. Ignorance will not get you anywhere. Mm -hmm. Amen to that, J-Rock. It's just tea you're spilling. I'm not sure what that means. Tea? Are you talking about like milk you're spilling? Is it the same thing? Like don't cry over spilt milk? If you could enlighten me on that. Yeah. He has been just... Re he, okay, yeah. Sorry. I'm sorry, Trevor. My mistake. Yeah. He could have just been more honest and pulled through. But he was dishonest, and it got him in more trouble. Civil court. Yes, the ocean, for sure. Take him to court. If anybody takes him to court, bless him. Thank you for doing it. The worst part is, the large orders, even of the $100, $200 frames from the sales that he did, like small, small claims court takes time. It takes extra things that have to go on. It's, it's crap that we have to do that to get back money that was spent that he took. Of course, he's going to say, if you do a chargeback to your card, then you can you, they can get the money back. And it's like, no, just refund him the money. If you can't refund him the money because it's tied up or already spent, then once again, it's more hoops and, and things that other people have to jump through for the fact that you caused them issue in their life. That's the larger issue about this whole thing. Like, yes... You can take them to court. Yes, you can get the money back. It's larger in the fact that like you, you screwed people over in a very dishonest, rude way. If Kyle needs legal help, I think we have some lawyers in the group. I agree. I think so. I'm not... I mean, there's more in this post. I'm not going to go over the entire thing. It's a very long, lengthy post with a lot of passion and a lot of honesty in it. And if you're a part of the Hookah Lounge, I highly recommend you go and check it out. But I'm sure... There will be things that take in the course of action. The worst part is just the need to do it, obviously. Oh, man. I didn't want to have to get that, like, off my chest. Uh, I, I am not, like, a... Uh, I'm not someone that, like, kind of, like, rants, right? Like, you guys, you've, you've, you've hang, hung out with me for quite a while now. Like, we've been doing the podcast for a long time. I've been doing the Gamecast for a long time. I'm not, like, this, like, person that's like, I can't wait to get on and throw shade tonight. I can't wait to start bashing and attacking and throwing people under the bus. You know, that's not me. That was my, my wrestling promo voice right there. But that's not who I am, right? Like, that's just not... I'm, I'm chill. I'm smoke... Uh, I'm happy. I'm, I'm, I'm just one of those types of people that just... I want to hang out and chill. Smoke with you. Be, be you know, uh, having some fun and things like that. So it just hurts me. It pains me to see this sort of stuff. It ain't cool. Inside the post, it looks like they're going to be doing a group buy. It's already happened. I'm not going to tell you to jump over there or nothing like that. Uh, okay, lockdown. Minute sold out. Group buy. There was a group buy that happened inside of here. One bowl left. Jack Asarian looks like he got it. There's a bunch of people. 
that did a, a jumped into a group by inside of the uh, THL. I'm lucky enough that I got one. I got one. So you know, full disclosure, I got it for review. I paid for this. I paid for this to Ron to his to his PayPal. I paid for him. Man, I need to see if I can just get my money back for it. And I'm I don't know. See, I don't like to go on rants and stuff because I say things just out of like passion and stuff like that. And I don't know what the right thing to do is. I don't want to say something and 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 uh, you know inflate something. So don't want to do that, obviously. But full disclosure, I bought mine. Um, I got it early for review, so I did have mine uh, secured in release. I guess you could say for review purposes. I did a review for it. I, I'm very happy with the review that I did. I thought it came out very well done, obviously. But yeah, the whole thing makes me sick. My old boss was like that truthfully disgusting. Nah, dude, scream it out. It is ser It is a serious thing. Kyle seems like a chill, nice guy. whole thing is a terrible situation. It really is. It's absolutely a terrible situation, especially for him. That's the worst part is the only person this hurts at the end of the day at this point is Kyle. Not in the sense that people are going to like not trust Kyle or anything like that, but like the dude put in a lot of time and effort in each one of these bowls, and he's not going to be, he's not being at the moment reimbursed for the effort that he put into it. Um, Kyle will come out stronger from this. He will, you know, he will uh, be able to still create wonderful balls and stuff like that. And I think it'll come out to be a very good thing um, in the end of the whole thing. Everyone knows who Kyle is. Everyone believes in Kyle. Everybody thinks that Kyle's a good dude. So that's not the hurtful thing. It's just the fact that, like, somebody in the group hurt the industry in this way. You know, you don't want to see scumbags enter the industry that we love so much and that is what happened in this situation obviously i seen him at the expo but i didn't get a chance to speak with him i spoke to him for a little while i mean i obviously he knows me i knew him not just from kyle uh well yeah a little bit more from kyle but like we knew each other just from like groups and stuff like that obviously so like i did not have anger towards him there because i didn't know what was going to happen in the next few months obviously but still just overall the whole thing trash monkey that funky monkey, trash, trash, trash monkey. That funky mo monkey, monkey, monkey. I don't know how any of that that music goes. I was saying, what is it? Brass monkey? Is that what it is? For some reason, it just sounded like it was trash monkey in my head. I'm gonna remix. I'm gonna remix that song. <laughs> Anyways, Matt is live about. Oh, checking my Facebooks. I am. I am. I should. I should copy this link to somebody. <laughs> I am. So what? Uh, now I'm having a conversation outside of this. We should just pay Kyle directly. I wish that's what Kyle would have done originally. I understand why he didn't. He wanted to go through a vendor. He wanted to go through something that he thought would um, give him a larger amount of exposure. Um, I get that. Totally understand that. I do too. I wished he would have just done it uh, all by himself and made the decision to... Um, made the decision to, you know, just, just sell it direct. Like we have so many people in the community right now that make so many awesome product products that, um, are so awesome in the fact that they are capable of communicating directly to their customer because they're just normal, decent human beings. They're just normal, decent human beings who love and have a passion for this sort of hobby. And what they want to do with that is share that. And then all wonderful, uh, uh, America, God bless all that shit. They're able to profit from it in the most minute way by just saying, I would like to charge you for the product that I'm selling you. And it's awesome that we have the ability to do that kind of stuff, obviously. But it sucks when the middleman wants to hurt that sort of genuineness to it as well, which just sucks, obviously. Um, you know, shout out to Derek Moses and Moses Hoses. Uh, for the awesome work that he does in the community by providing a product that he believes in and he creates and he hand makes for people in the community. Uh, shout out to Bracken of Pack Mats, who is creating this awesome niche. Inside of a niche, he's making another niche inside of it. And it's just so cool to be like, you know what, you don't need this, but it's awesome to have. And that's the truth. Shout out to Kyle for the awesome bowl that he created and gets and should get all recognition for. Shout out to uh, Brandon George of Stone Bowls for all the awesome work that he does. Shout out to Nino of Mason Bowls. I know he doesn't hand do it himself, but they are they are made as a luxury item that are individualized and uh, well, not individualized, but you know what I mean. Like he's a he's a member of the community that is that is a part of uh, creating a product that he's also uh, reaching out and selling and stuff. I think I think they fit in. What do you think? Am, am I am I am I stretching it there? I don't think so. Maybe I am. Maybe I've just gone too far off of the deep, deep end. My rant has now finally gone full circle, and I've gone crazy mode at this point. Um, it's Brass Monkey. I meant, uh, I, but I mean, Hookahero seems sketch a lot because of the shutdown randomness. Yeah, they did. 
Um, I think he said in the post that he learned some lessons on how to do things financially. Yeah, uh, Matt, jump on your Xmas album, ha ha ha, Trash Monkey single. Yeah, uh, you know, just trying to figure it out. You know, got to drop those mad beats and stuff. Okay, <clears throat> we're gonna play some games tonight. If you guys want to talk about any more other stuff, like you just you bring it up and we'll talk about it here tonight. Ain't nothing off the limits. Going cray cray. Anyone who watches this in replace in in reply or uh, you know replay of this and stuff, they're gonna be like, man, Matt was crazy. Matt went crazy. I, I, Cause I don't talk like this. You guys know me. I'm too chill. I'm too chill to talk like this. I don't do this. I I chill. I relax. I hang out. I smoke. I'm just I'm just here to have some fun. We're gonna we're gonna play some games. We're gonna we're gonna uh, make fun of people that are our friends in the in the best way possible. And what I mean by that is if you type in exclamation point exclamation point and a whole lot of names go check out the commands down below in the bottom we have some fun stuff down there uh, for a lot of people including my main man my main man j rock how are you doing j rock how are you oh man it's so good to see you obviously but that's what you do do that kind of stuff right there that's who we that's what we're doing in this uh, am hookah podcast we have this beautiful community filled with a ton of people that we absolutely appreciate and love uh j rock obviously I, I i added the k i don't know why i forgot the k when I uh, filled out this command. That's my mistake. We have Nightbot hanging out with us. If you're interested in joining the AM Hookah crew, you know what I'm talking about. If you want to be a part of the AM Hookah podcast crew, please send us an email at hookahpod at gmail.com and you can maybe become a, a mod of sorts or a producer of sorts and hang out with us, me and Adrian, as we go through this thing called the AM Hookah podcast, trying to figure it all out. I just dropped the email inside of the chat right now. You can go and check that out. Smoke Tangiers, get that good stuff. I need to get. Uh, I need to do a one-up order on Tangiers. Is my big problem right now. Um, I'm down to. What am I down to? I think I'm only down to pink grapefruit. Oh, I'm so empty. I need to buy some more Tangiers. I used to have like five, and now I got one. I've been smoking through them, like a lot. <laughs> that would that'd be why. Uh, we are gonna play some games though. We need to pick the game. We need to play something something of video games. Anybody got a Switch in chat? If you got a Switch in chat, we can hang out. We can play some video games together. Or I can play some, like, wicked uh, one-player game stuff. Oh, man, we're going to play some Splatoon. I don't care. 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 Don't, don't tell me. I see you, Tommy, already. Uh, I see what you're thinking. I see what you're thinking already. Get some Alchemist uh, Peppermint Mocha. That sounds pretty good. Oh, I got some, I got some new stuff. Nice haircut. Hi, wife. How are you doing? Checking in on me. Did you miss my crazy uh, ramp that I did? I went I went full on conspiracy. Full on conspiracy. The whole world's out to get me. That's why I kept my hair. To make sure they couldn't read my minds. That's how they get you. Keep your hair long. Those hippies. Fighting game. I'm done out of fighting. I'm done with fighting games for a little while, man. I am done with fighting games for a little while. Online competitive games. Kind of done with. Splatoon is a little different. Splatoon is, is a fun shooter, so I'm, I'm down to play some Splatoon any day of the week. I don't know about fighting games for a little while. I'm, I, want to, I want to take a break on fighting games. Uh, I, I want to get my cred up by doing good. Missed it all. Good. I'm glad you missed it all because you might think I was crazy, and you're stuck with me, so I don't want you thinking I'm too crazy. All right. Um, I'm curious as to... Let me see. We're on Twitch, by the way. We are on Twitch. In case you like using Twitch, I very rarely check it. That's my own fault. I know I need to do a better job of checking it. That's my own fault, so I apologize. But you can find us at twitch.com slash amhookah. Obviously, we're there as well. You can find us on Twitter. Like I said, go and check all those commands down there because all those commands are filled with some really, really cool stuff in there. i got to make sure that the game is working because it usually I always have to hit it like a second time to get it to turn on. See, it always takes like one or two times, and then it'll kick on afterwards. Let's see if this will... Let's see if we can get it to kick on right now. Come on, game. Work for me. Work for me, game. I know you're I know you're on, game. Okay, don't, don't try to lie to me and say that you're not turned on video game, because I know you are. There we go. I think it's going to start working now. At least I hope it does. We'll play a little bit of a couple rounds. We'll chit-chat and talk and everything like that. And then we will go into uh, 
and then we'll go into looking for some uh, some, 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 some something something to smoke, if you know what I'm talking about. I want to get some tobacco in my, in my life, um, smoke some of that sweet Tangiers, since that's what Tommy wants me to smoke. Tommy wa wants me to smoke Tangiers all the time, because it's that good, good stuff, obviously. Where is my video feed? <laughs> Gosh dang it, <laughs> turn on. I know you're I know you're on, you dang Nintendo product. I know you are. So just get come on, Nintendo. Get working. Um I really want to play Red Dead. It's taking too long to get interesting. But it's taking too long to get interesting. Is that so? Not a big fan of I I I'd never played any of the Red Dead games, so I can't really say if they're supposed to be a long grind, are they anything like, uh, you know, Skyrim and like, what's it called? Vegas. What's that? Vegas. Fallout. Fallout. Fall are they like those kinds of games? I don't mind those kinds of games. I'm not like the biggest fan of them. I like Skyrim. I got into that, obviously, more recently through like my Switch and stuff like that. Hold on a second. Hold on. Hold, hold on. What's going on over here? All right, let's see if we can get this working. It's it's on. But we've been having some weird problems here with the A and Hookah podcast. Um, I don't know if you've known that, know that or not. Can't wait for that new Resident Evil. Yes, I agree. That will be real cool when, when that comes out, if it comes out. Should be coming out, am I right? Should be coming out. I'm excited for it. And maybe we should have played some, like, PC games. Maybe that's what we should have done. It says no signal. Man, that's... I, I, the one night I don't double-check this stuff. It always has to happen. What are you guys smoking? I'm waiting up for a friend to come over. Damn coals, I'm dying. PlayStation doesn't have have this issue. They sure do. They sure do. More like GTA. A Western GTA. That does sound fun. Like, I get why people like it. You know what I mean? Like, I get why it is an endearing game for so many people and stuff like that. Um, maybe one of these days, if I ever, you know, maybe if it comes to Switch, like it should, like it should come to Switch, I would have bought it. If it would have came to Switch, I would have bought it. Yeah, no, no, no issue or problem about that at all. It says in use by another device. Hold on a second, guys. Let me, let me try to figure this out, see if I can get it to work. Over here... It's not in use anymore. Okay, we'll get it out of use for a second, and then we'll we'll get this to work. It needs to be connected to a USB 3.0 port to function properly. It is connected to a USB B3. Blah blah blah. blah, blah. I just did the whole switch it to a different USB port trick. You know that one? Yeah, that's the one that I used. And now it's going to be fine. So let me exit out of this so I can turn it over here. Ugh, so frustrating. Always, always done when that sort of stuff happens, obviously. Let's see, I need to do, what, where is it? Video capture, add new source. Come on, come on. There we go. There we go. All right, now we got to lower it so I can be in front of it. There we go. All right, here we go. We got it. We got it going on. This is the uh, the Switch dashboard of sorts. I'm gonna pack either Azor Cactus or Azor Dark Strawberry Guava. Pick one for me. I love the Dark Cactus. I'm I'm assuming you're saying Cactus Blast. So like, I already know that's good. I'd love to. I'd l I want to try the Strawberry Guava. So I say pack Strawberry Guava, man. Let me know what you think about that. Because mmm, that cactus blast is good. Did you see my review? I dropped a review uh, recently over on my YouTube page. If you haven't already checked that out before, you know, consider doing it. Mario Kart is very nice. In fact, I'm gonna see if I can get some people to play some night games with me right now. Who, who's, who's here? Who's here? Is uh, Frank? You watching me? Frank? You watching? Frank? 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 You watching? Twelve days of Christmas. Uh, Frank? You watching? Get over here, Frank and Paul. Get over here and play games. I just told them, get over here and play games. Play some games with me. Chris, 
want to play some games. I'm trying to get Dr. Noob Sauce to noob it up with me a little bit. See if we can play some games. Get over here and play some games. Uh, I got lots of them, so I'll, I'll school you at whatever. Yeah, Frank, what's up? Where you at, Frank? Get on. What do you want to play, Frank? Are we friends? Are we friends on here, Frank? I don't know. Ah, I got to download an update. All right, we'll do that while we talk. You missed my, my savage rant today, Frank? Didn't know I could go so... Oh, kicking ass. Not yet, Rose F. Death. You are you getting ready for work, Rose F. Death? You want to play some games? I want to play some games with some listeners and stuff. I haven't done that on this channel honestly yet, and it's something that I've always wanted to do, just never had the opportunity to do it. So maybe tonight we could. You guys want to play some games? You want to play some uh, Splatoon, Mario Kart? I, I said I was going to take a break from uh, fighting games, but I'll play some fighting games with you guys because I can kick your butts. I can't. Don't, don't, don't question my ability. No, I'm kidding. I, I'll probably lose. I'll probably lose real bad. Like. <laughs> But uh, if I lose real bad like, then it looks good for you. So you guys should definitely play some games against me. Uh, what else do we got, man? I'm waiting for this download for Splatoon. Uh, I, I ranted longer than I expected to rant. Yeah, just waking up for work. I thought you were probably going to get ready for work, so that's understandable. Um, I, I ranted a little bit more than I, I originally assumed or thought that I was going to. So, sorry mm -hmm. for that. But we're going to get into this. We're probably going to smoke some Tangiers. And you know what we're going to use to smoke Tangiers? We're going to use this beautiful bowl right here. We're going to use the Relics Ring Bowl. We're going to smoke some Tangiers with it. After I get a couple rounds of gaming in, because after I start smoking Tangiers, I'm going to want to like relax and, and probably not play anymore. So, you know, might need to get some gaming in before I smoke. Know what I'm talking about? Uh... Man, I just can't believe just how much stuff is going on. Ugh. Oh, well. We're going to have some fun stuff going on for us for sure. Let's see. Oh, congratulations. That's awesome. Derek Moses of Moses Hoses just said that, uh, that uh, Heyo checking in from the Leather Hose District to announce the winner of my giveaway this month. Congrats to Kyle Smith. No one else. Yeah, I. that's absolutely phenomenal. That's, that's awesome. It really is. I'm going to get my bowl loaded up as well for Kyle Smith and I'm going to be posting a picture all over the place to, to give my support and uh, I just I feel I feel nothing but compassion for everything for that guy because he's just he's too good of a guy um, let's get into this though let's get into some Splatoon can you guys hear the music? I don't hear it yet it's probably going to be loud let me turn it down Huh, I'm not sure how to change the audio on this one as much. There used to be a way to do like advanced. Let's see, properties. Is there an audio section in this? Let's see, flip, capture. Oh, there we go. Output desktop audio. Oh, that'd be perfect. Perfect, awesome. Now I can control it absolutely phenomenally. Awesome. Wow, that makes things so much easier. All right, cool. Now, you guys let me know if you can hear me okay or if it's too loud. Splatoon, I, I, okay, cool. There's an update. I don't care. I just want to get in the game and play it. I don't care about no updates. I don't care about no new weapons. I don't care about nothing, none of this, okay? I just want to get in. I want to blast some guys. I want to make them splat all over the place. I'm going to do Azure Strawberry Guava in the Relics for Kyle and you, boss man. Thank you. Mo, uh, Moise, I want to hear exactly what you think about it. You're going to have to let me know. Should I open up the phone lines tonight, guys? I feel like tonight would be a good night to open up the phone lines. What do you think? Are we going to open up the phone lines tonight? Let's open up the phone lines. I'm just chilling and hanging out, obviously. This is a good night to open up the phone lines. Man, we're going to get crazy. Don't nobody no, ain't, don't nobody tell Adrian what we doing tonight, okay? Ain't nobody tell Adrian what we doing tonight. Don't shh. Quiet down. Quiet down. Uh... I gotta get it all set up and open, so you're gonna have to give me, give me a momento. Okay, give me a second. Okay, so oh, I, just got, I gotta, I gotta keep pushing A. I gotta keep, I gotta keep pushing A and set up the calls. <laughs> uh. 
Alright. Hurry up! Stop talking to me. Yeah, there we go. Finally. Okay, let me get this phone number typed in. Maybe I shouldn't put the phone number in and just like whoever knows the number already is able to get in because like you're like a true super fan. You know what I'm talking about? I'm kidding. I would never ever do that. Put it right here in the corner. Put it right there. Is it, can you see that? Okay. Can you see that? Okay. Uh, maybe. Maybe not. Maybe not. Let me. Let me. Let me darken it. We need to put a. Let's see. Where is it? Background opacity. There. Is that? Can you read that? Is that okay? Three one nine five two seven three two three five. You can give a call into the show, and we can do some chit chat and talking while we're playing some Splatoon. Get smoking here in a little while. Oh, what's up, Captain Wetbeard? So nice of you to join us and hang out. Make sure to drop a like and share with friends. Hell yeah. Make sure you check out what all those commands are, man. We got a lot of fun commands. A lot of love for the fam, for the family of the AMIC podcast, man. We respect and thank you guys so very much. All right, we're not going to do ranked. I'm not a big fan of ranked battles, not going to lie. But uh, regular battles. I like the regular splat thing that they have. Guys, the calls have arrived. We are good. Ooh, get smoking. Get smoking, Tommy. What are you smoking tonight? I think I asked that. Who is everyone smoking? So far, I know Moyes is smoking uh, strawberry guava from Azor, which I assume will be amazing. I don't have any doubt that that will be fantastic. Uh-oh, do we got a phone call? Oh, we got a phone call. What is up, Tommy? What are you doing, man? I, I recognize that voice anywhere. Cold? What's cold for you, Tommy? You tell me what's cold. <laughs> what is... Yeah. You're like, oh, it's 75 degrees. We're going to die out here. I'm, I'm freezing off in like 12 degree... I'm in like 12 degree weather right now. You, so, so, Tommy, are you going to tell me that when you watch me play Splatoon, you don't instantly wish you had this game? You are crazy. You are lying to me right now. We can't hear him. Uh-oh, Tommy, hold on. Uh, they, they say they, they can't hear you. Hold on, guys. I've never, I've never tried them. Hold on a second, Tommy. I got uh, for some reason I don't got you coming through my speakerphone or my speaker so people can hear you. And I, we're we're talking mad shit right now, so I need to make sure people can hear this go down. So let me. That's so weird that this is not working as it normally does. Ah! I'm gonna die now. No, I'm 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 I do not suck. Don't say that, Tommy. Tommy, I'm gonna I'm gonna have you give me a call back in a minute after I figure out what might be wrong with the uh, call in service, okay? Alright, catch you later, bye. Don't call the phone number, everybody. Don't call the phone number yet. Hold on. Let me, I gotta fig I gotta figure this out and figure out why it's not working correctly. Cause I can hear that. Why can't you guys hear that? Oh, you know what? This must be set up wrong inside of this. I need to get this. Oh man. Now I'm gonna not look like I'm a very good Splatoon player because I'm spending too much time going in my options. Oh well, fuck it. Uh, we cannot hear Tommy. I know. I'm sorry about that. There we go. That one should be the correct one. Let me let's let's give this a shot. There is one host and this There we go. That you guys heard that, right? You guys heard that. Okay, Tommy or anybody, anybody at all. Tommy call in obviously. Anybody that wants to call in, give us a call in. What's up, Frank? I see you there. I see you, Frank. I see you. We'll see if it works this time. It should work. You guys all heard that little message. I'm pretty sure you did at least. 
If, can you hear me now? <laughs> can, can you hear me? Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Oh, man, I, I, I shouldn't have died there. That was my bad. Oh, well. Data. I always forget there's like a huge delay. And that delay always messes with me. Yep, we heard it. Okay. It's like, come on, guys, talk back now. And it's, it takes a little while. If I, if I lost that match, then I'm going to blame Tommy. That's what I'm going to do. Blame Tommy for losing. Oh, we lost. Oh, we won. Check it out. 47 to 4. Awesome. Frank, you going to play some games tonight? Huh? Can you can you play some games tonight? What do you want to play? Oh, I got a freshness bonus. You see that? Because I'm fresh. See the hair? I'm fresh. See the hair? I'm ready. I'm I am I'm ready to uh get smoking. We're gonna play maybe maybe one or two more rounds of this and then we'll get smoking in a little bit. Talk about whatever you guys want to talk about. AMA style, ask me anything. You bring up the question, I'll bring up the answer. AMA style. I haven't done something like that in a long time. You bring the questions, I'll bring the answers. I'll you br you you bring the smoke, I'll play, I'll bring the fire. <laughs> See, see what I did there? <laughs> see, see what I did there? <laughs> yeah, that wasn't as funny as I thought it was. <laughs> uh, come on, Splatoon, let me play the damn game. I want to play. Stop loading. Stop finding opponents. They're all, they're all terrible, anyways. They don't matter. Uh, all right, let's see what we got going on. Boom, 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 boom. Bombs away. Bombs away. Whoa, whoa, that guy. That guy's coming in hot. Well, trying to at least. He didn't know that I was here, though. So what was that? That guy's just standing around doing nothing. Don't be standing around doing nothing. You won't be helpful that way. Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Oh, got him. Got him. He got me. He got me after I got him. That's frustrating. Give a call. Give a call. Frank, why don't you give a call? You want to bring up your, your two cents? Do you have a two cents? Want to, want to talk about my nice haircut inspired by the great, late, great um, Senor Frank? I'm just kidding. It's not late, great. It's still still great, still awesome, as always. Whoa. <laughs> see? See how I baited him? You see how I baited him into that? That's skill. That's the skill that I possess playing this game. It's like skillful stuff that I do. Who, is, who are these people's? Bring me competition. I'm, I'm saying all this because I won't play on ranked. <laughs> whoa, 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 ooh, that guy is coming out. Whoa, 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 you guys need to chill. They needed to chill a little bit more than they actually did. They should have been a lot more chill. More chill than that. How's the the volumes of everything sound do i sound okay in comparison to the game volume do anything needs to be raised up do i need to be to i need to turn my volume down a little bit oh somebody on the line who's on who's on the line yeah hello who is this hey it's frank 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 do i know a frank <laughs> frank it sounds like a, it sounds like a familiar name that i should be aware of are you somebody yeah yeah i, I think i'm somebody people sometimes tell me i'm not somebody but my mother tells me I'm somebody, so oh, that's okay. all that matters. Could you do me a favor, Frank? Could you do one of those? Can you be like, do you know who I am? Could you could you say that to me? <laughs> do you know who I am? Oh. You don't know who I am, Matt? Oh, my goodness. I'm, you realize I'm going to cut that audio now and just use it all the time to show your vainness, okay? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. What are you up to, Frank? What are you doing? Uh, just watching all this unfold. It's Are you seeing my dominance unfold? Did you see that kill I just got? You'll see in about 10 seconds. 
because of the. Cause they did. I, I say though. I say though. I think the game audio is pretty low. I hear. I hear you, which is the key thing. Okay. Well, I, I didn't. <laughs> I don't want. Yeah, I don't want the, the 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 music to drown out my 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 sultry voice too much. If you know what I'm talking about. You you do podcasts. So, you know what it, I mean. You want everyone to hear your voice. Is your goal just to paint this level? Is that what you do with Splatoon? Yeah. I play Splatoon. Yeah, this is a turf war. In turf war, you're just trying to get the most ink laid down. It's not paint, good sir. It is ink. I don't know if you understand the mythology <laughs> of Splatoon, <laughs> but they are they are squid children that we are playing with. Oh, squid children. Yeah, yeah. I see. Yeah. I see. <laughs> so what do you think about everything? You already made your own rant. Yeah. But, you know, I think... You know, people were talking about starting a GoFundMe, but, you know, I think getting Kyle back to making bowls. Because I think at the end of the day, the guy just wanted people, oh, he just wanted to see people use his bowls. Yeah. He I, wanted to see his bowls in the community be used, be enjoyed. And I don't think it was so much the money. I think it's just like he didn't get a chance for people to use his product. Yeah, I, I agree. I think that, I, I, I mean,. I speak to Kyle every once in a while. I I don't try to like bug him with like a lot of different stuff and everything. Like when it first broke, um, I'm sure there was a couple people that tried to like, uh, you know, uh, I don't want to say like get a comment from him or something, but like, I, I never wanted to like be aggressive towards him or anything like that. I wanted to make sure that like, I wanted to, I wanted to make sure he was okay. You know what I mean? And it sucks that this is what came out of all this. Um, the bad news about it, because in reality, I completely agree with you. Kyle is somebody that loves this. It's a hobby that we all enjoy doing. And when a hobby turns into a passion and you're able to use that love that you have for the passion and try to create something creative with creativity and stuff, it sucks to have been taken. You know what I mean? Like it just, the whole thing is just a bad ordeal. And these guys inspire others to want to do something in the community too. Now you have yep. resin Kings, um, by Cam, Cameron and Wayne. They're mm -hmm. making their handles. And now you have Jeremy Bird from Fuka University. He's starting up his own handle shop, mm -hmm. you know, doing, doing glass handles. You know, it's inspiring a lot of people. So when something like this occurs, you know, it is discouraging because you feel like you're alone. You can't really trust certain vendors to help you out. It also, like, kind of, it, it, it re, um, what's the right word? It re signifies that the best way to do this sort of thing is to do it on your own, which it, it's, I mean, that's kind of the way I think it should be for the most part, like people like Derek Moses, for instance, or like Bracken with pack mats or Wayne with, with, uh, or, and, and, uh, you know, resin Kings and stuff. Like, I don't think they need to worry about getting a middleman involved and stuff. You know, the reason why Kyle did that is because he, he was, he was happy that somebody believed in him to such an extent that in his opinion, you know, was sticking out their neck in a way, right? Like it in his mind that he was ta he was also taking on some sort of risk. Obviously, not the same kind of risk, but something of similar sort. So, because he respected the fact that somebody uh, believed in him, he was willing to say, like, you know what, I want to do this with you. Then, you know, I'm going to get a little more exposure, maybe, blah blah blah. But I want to be with somebody who who believes in what I'm trying to do, which is awesome right. when you can find that person. But it's also crappy when it backfires the way that it did. Obviously, yeah. I agree. I agree. And now Kyle is probably just more upset nobody's using the stuff I know. rather than the money. Well, God I'm, knows where Ron is. I'm, yeah, who knows? <laughs> he's literally in Mexico. He's just he's he's in Tijuana. <laughs> who knows? Who knows? If something terrible happened to his family, I totally do apologize. And I, I, you know, my prayers and thoughts go out to any sort of horrible emergency. But the whole thing that this thing went down, like there's no way that people can fully believe him or have that sort of trust in him. And based upon what he did, not what others have done, like that's the other thing. Like the the blame card can only go so far, um, and the victim card can only be played for so long. Um, it, mm hmm. Well, I agree. Yeah. And what pisses me off about what yeah, what pisses me off about what Ron is doing even more is that I really it's not that I hope something's wrong, but I really hope he wouldn't stoop to the level of saying and making something up, saying that his father's sick, he has to go back to Colorado and do all that stuff, like make up all those lies and really horrible lies that he's yeah. like figment about, you know, I would never pretend my family's deathly ill that he'd fly back. To another state just because I'm trying to screw a guy out of money. You know, that's just a horrible thing to do. It, it yeah. really is. And, not, and then not only that, but, like, the fact of the matter that every single time 
the, the story changed constantly. It evolved. It it became a you know it, it was like Lord of the Rings style. All of a sudden, if you missed the last chapter, you had to go back and read it to figure out what the hell was going on. Um, but honestly, like it the the when the lie keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger, like you know something's wrong. You 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 feel that there's something afoot. You you don't feel comfortable with all with what's being said and stuff like that. Now, I'm going to be using my relics ring uh, I, tonight, uh, uh, Frank. Um, I think I'm going to smoke some Tangiers, though. I don't know exactly what I'm going to smoke tonight, but I think I'm going to smoke some Tangiers. Are you smoking at the moment? No, I'm about to make it a bowl. Oh, what are you going to be and, smoking? Uh, I don't know. I guess so much tobacco. Um, <laughs> the curse. <laughs> the curse. Maze of Azure. Do you have Ultraviolet? I don't yet. You need I to don't. get some. It's very good stuff. I, I cannot stop recommending that stuff. I'm only... I'm so angry and disappointed that i'm out of not only that I saw, your, I saw your video it was very different from what i was expecting of her review yeah review. uh if you go so my He's videos you can use to subscribe to too oh so you know everything. who is this who, who who jumped on is this did tommy did you get back on the phone call i did actually oh hey what is up tommy tommy this is frank frank this is tommy we've never done a group call uh, and it worked out before, but we'll give this one a shot. Uh, yeah, Frank, this is Tommy. Uh, Frank has amazing hair. Uh, Tommy, this is Frank. Tommy also does some cool stuff on YouTube. He's the hookahologist. Say hello. Hi. Hey, Frank. <laughs> hello, Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> that so, worked my fun. guys, my guys, I got a question for both of y'all. Okay. My boy here, who brought some uh, beautiful coals, mm -hmm. got some flats on this bowl here. He's been smoking nothing but Starbucks and Samari. What's his next? tobacco brand he should be using. Ooh. Ooh. Frank. Uh, I would say Trifecta is a good segue from Fumari and Starbucks just because, you know, you could do Azor, but, um, I, you know, there's always a balance between moving between Azor and Trifecta. But, you know, <laughs> if, if he's going after Fumari because he likes those very desserty flavors, I would say, or very um, fruity flavors, like um, then Azor may be better for him. But if he's more into like the mints or the, the oranges, the zest, the citrus, I would say Trifecta really shines in that spectrum. So it really depends what he likes going for. You know, um, in my opinion. And but I'm going to go with something I feel is almost a more rounded answer because I agree with everything Frank just said about a very focused sort of answer uh, in the ways that, like, if you like this, go this way, or if you like this, go this way. Uh, in a more rounded answer, I'm going to suggest Alpha Kama because you really of can't. Course, Mark. Yeah, well, what is that supposed to mean? Of course I am. It's good stuff. I highly recommend it. Um, That's all you ever smoke. <laughs> It's not all I ever smoke. I smoke Azor a lot. I smoke Tangiers. I smoke uh, Sherbetly. Uh, Sherbetly, if you like dessert stuff, I would highly suggest Sherbetly. They have some of my favorite very If I had a dollar flavors. for every time if I had a dollar for every time you actually mentioned Alpha Kama, I'd be a rich man. Well, you know, start placing bets before the show. Uh, you know, there could be an over or an under on how many times I mention uh, uh, Alpha Kama. Always take the over. You think do you think Alpha Kama is more of a natural progression from Alpha and Nakla than Starbus? Just because of the juicy makeup of it? Because Starbus and Kamar are very juicy, both of them. Compared which, is, to... which can be nice to when you, if you, so if you're used to doing a very juicy style of tobacco, sometimes it can be nice to open up your package and not see it soupy. Um, so it's, it's, yeah, it, sure. I agree with what you're saying about is it more of a natural progression in the sense of doing a more Middle Eastern style of tobacco. But I almost feel like, you know, when I first started smoking tobacco with Starbuzz, Al Fokker, Nakla, and like the very first time I ever got Tangiers, because I don't know if people remember this, but like Tangiers used to be pretty moist. Like they have completely toned down their moisture level in comparison to, I mean, I'm talking 10 years ago, obviously, so it's a much different product in comparison. But the very first time you like open this and you're like, you know, mixing it around and it's a little bit different than what you're expecting. Same thing with like Fumari. It's kind of like that novelty of seeing something that you're not expecting, which I think is also kind of nice when you're trying a new product out. I think with I, I think depending like I agree with what you were saying about like depending on what you like going in these directions. Um, it's hard to, you know, like what is your friend's favorite flavor from Starbuzz? Let me ask you that. 
Pirates Cave or Geisha? Mm. Which one? Sorry. I could barely hear it. Pirates Cove or Geisha? Geisha? I've never tried Geisha. Is that from the Serpent line? It's, uh, it's from the Bold line. Oh, well, okay. Um, I've never. What's Geisha taste like? How, how would you describe it, honestly? I, it's I like a mint with a rose. Floral, floral, oh. hint of mint. If you like a floral kick to some stuff that you're smoking, then skip all the stuff me and Frank are talking about right now and go straight to Azor <laughs> Ultraviolet or smoke Tangier's uh, Static Starlight. Because those two yeah, are... I'm not sure what sort of floral he's talking about. Like his... Yeah, the Winter Rose also. Winter Rose? From Azor is floral. Mm -hmm. You have Lavender Mint, which is floral from the dark line of Trifecta. I've never tried Lavender uh, Mint. I haven't had half of these. Guaranteed facts. So we're educating you, my man, so now you know. I haven't had what? Oh, my God, I like that chocolate shit with a, a double apple. No one likes double apple. Uh, if you smoke uh, Dubai Apple from Azor, you will like double apple. I like yeah. Mountain Dew. I mean, Mountain, uh... Mountain Dew. Oh, like Winter Fresh? Mango Mountain something. I have no idea what you're talking about. Green one, Starbucks. <laughs> The green one, you know, the green one. That one. Mango Dew. Oh, Melon Dew. Melon Dew. Oh, man. Melon Dew. That's old school. You guys are bringing back some memories right now for me. Melon Dew is fire. To be fair, in this small community of ours, we don't have a good smoke shop. No, that's, that always sucks. <laughs> so The ocean just said AF yeah, Rose no. and Awaha, twi uh, Awaha Twice Ice. I've never heard of Awaha Twice Ice. Is decent if you like Starbuzz. Um, AF Rose. I can't personally suggest AF Rose. I'm not a big fan of the way that that one smokes, but I only had it a long time ago. If you do like floral with like sweet notes and stuff like that, uh, definitely check out Ultraviolet from Azor and uh, check out my review. Wink, wink. Um, also, Static Starlight from Tangiers is amazing. I gotta plug myself. It's my channel, Frank. I can do whatever I want. Is that, is that a dark leaf, by the way? Uh, you can get it in dark leaf. I don't know if you can get it in blonde leaf, but I had it in the dark leaf. Yes. Yeah, it's from the bold line. Yeah, I want too. Well, guys, thank you for your great insight. I now have to educate my mans here on the differences between each brand. You, you know get... what I would recommend huh. to him? Just buy like like I'm not, I don't know if people still sell it, but Azor used to sell 50 gram packs as well as Strife, as well as Alfaka Alfakama. Uh, I would say, you know, try them out in 50 gram packs. See what you like, um, and get. A good feel because you really want to feel the tobacco and see how they cut and just take it out of the package and putting it down and start feeling each one and just getting a feel of which one you prefer mm -hmm. how they make it that'll give you a lot of insight just a suggestion noted well thank you so much for calling uh tommy appreciate it a ton you have you have a good night with your friend and enjoy the rest of the stream okay of course of course frank it was very nice to meet you i'm sure you have right. lovely hair <laughs> it's very low. <laughs> your hair is your hair is your entire legend uh, from now on. Well, as you probably already know. Uh, so we just had a question in the chat, actually, Frank, and I don't. I haven't tried it, or I tried it in Vegas, but very briefly, so I don't want to say anything yes or no about it. Uh, did you try the uh, trifecta flavor uh, Narwar? Um, I trifecta. Yeah, yeah. What do you think yeah. of it? They said that he said the person in the chat says I like floral flavors, so Narwar is floral. Uh, God, isn't it? Is is uh, or wait? I, I'm trying to die at the same time. Uh, it says it's, I like floral uh, flavors, so mix. yeah, it's a mix of rose, lavender, and jasmine, if I remember right. Um, so that's definitely up there. I completely forgot about that flavor. That, um, it is a pretty good flavor, though. Something you're a fan of. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, I don't go for florals. So, like, things like lavender mint, while well, they're nice, mm -hmm. or, or with the rose, or Nara, they're things I try, but um, they're not my go-tos. I'm more of a citrus man. I, I I can't stand most floral flavors, like, at all. Like, the only floral flavors that I, I, I like, and the ones that I like I love, um, are that ultraviolet, obviously. That's something that I just did the review on, and I, I really am a big fan of it. And then Static Starlight from Tangiers is just like, oh my gosh, it's one of my like all-time favorite flavors. I mix that with uh, Trifecta Dark Enigma, and I call it the truth, because everyone else smokes what else? Well, I smoke the truth. 
And uh, I think it's absolutely phenomenal, the mix that I do with it. It, it was so good, I, I smoked it all. <laughs> and I'd have no more now. <laughs> but it was good while it lasted. How's your, how's your hooked, on, hooked on the hookah shisha? I've tried two out of the three that I ordered. Uh, the Rocky Mountain Mint, which was the mocha mint uh, mixture. It's a pretty good chocolate mint. It's been a long time since I've had a chocolate mint, so I think I'm enjoying it just on that merit. Um, and then I also have, I also tried the other night the kiwi lemon lime flavor that I had the mix for me. You know, you can have, you can do up to four flavors on your own accord and stuff like that. So I chose mm-hmm. to do a kiwi lime lemon flavor, and it was pretty good. It was a really, really uh, the the smoke on it. It's interesting. Uh, you know, sometimes smokes can be real light. They can be real heavy. It, it was odd because it was reminiscent of like an herbal smoke in the sense that it's very, very light. You, I mean, I don't know if you have, do you smoke very uh, uh, much herbal tobacco, tobacco, that kind of stuff at all? Yeah, I do like their jasmine flavor. But you know how when tobacco. you, you know how when you smoke the heaven leaf, it is very light tasting in the mouth, like in your throat hit basically. Oh yeah, that was I the same exactly. feeling that I got from smoking this hooked on hookah stuff, which I thought was really interesting. It it was a different mouth feel in the way that it was on, uh, you know, as you were smoking it and stuff. I don't know if it was a good thing or a bad thing. I honestly don't know if if it's something that I liked or didn't like about it. I need to smoke more of it. Um, probably gonna try the other one that I got. Probably not tonight because I really want some tangiers. But uh, it's the peach lemonade flavor, and the name of it was Midnightish, I believe. So. Not a whole lot of experience. Interested in trying more of it. Uh, not exactly blown away, but I don't think it's it's a bad tobacco by any stretch. Uh, somebody in the chat just said, thinking about ordering Heaven Leaf, what are the best flavors? I think that the cucumber, um, what was it called? The cucumber melon is fantastic because it tastes like a vegetable, like uh, almost like veggie straws or something. It's really tasty. The cucumber is really good in it. The mango is very good. Bubble gum was good. Cotton candy was very good. Um, the mint was good, just wasn't like one of my favorite mints, the spearmint that I had from them. Uh, let's see, what else did I try from heaven? Oh, the orange is also very good. You said you like the jasmine, is that what you said? Yeah, yeah, so jasmine, I, I usually do like a, a mix of the jasmine and the strawberry, I think it was. Um, I'm not sure if he still makes the strawberry, it was a wild berry. A mix of those two was a nice combo, hmm. and it gives you like this almost... Feels like feels like you're having strawberry jasmine tea, huh. and uh, there's another one, the peppermint one. He has is Pe- good. Yeah, yeah, I agree. But but there's something about uh, not to knock uh, Heaven Leaf at all. Mm-hmm. They did a great a great line of uh, flavors. Uh, but just something for the mouth feel for me. It's a little bit. Um, I get like a slippery feel in my mouth after smoking it. That I'm just not really keen on. See, I but. yeah, and I do not recommend smoking Heaven Leaf by itself at all in any capacity. Like uh, anytime I talk about Heaven Leaf, I always refer to it as the same way. And to me, it's a tobacco enhancer because you can add it to yeah. what you're smoking, and it it adds a lot of cool flavor to it. I had the Alamir brand in my house for a little while, and I was not a fan of it. I did not think that the Alamir brand was all that tasty. So I added some of the uh, Heaven Leaf Orange to the Tropical Splash that I had, and it instantly made me enjoy it better. Like, that that orange flavor is what that quote-unquote tropical flavor, or so they said it was tropical, uh, needed. It needed to have some sort of, like, citrus tinge to it, because it did not have that prior. Um, so yeah, I always, I think of it as being a tobacco enhancer, uh, ever more than I would ever smoke it alone. How about Earth? Uh, Earth so, is a uh, yeah, yeah. fruit one. I only tried it briefly in Vegas. I did not. Uh, Bracken, buddy of mine, uh, and everybody's everybody's friend in the community, honestly, uh, he bought some, and he really enjoyed it. I never got back with him and asked him some other questions about it. When I tried it in Vegas, it's interesting because it, it still has that same mouthfeel. Uh, as like all the other herbal stuff that I've ever smoked, and it also has that kind of like light tasting smoke to it as well. Uh, when it comes to like the throat hit or like the mouth fill to it, but it was very good. Uh, the mango tasted very good. Uh, the other flavor, though, I can't think of the name of it. It was like blue something. Uh, also tasted good. I just don't know if I would ever order it. Like I don't, I don't, I don't feel, think I have the need to order that brand. I don't order a lot of uh, herbal stuff, though. Like, that's just not my, my, my bag that, I, that I get the into. Expectation, do you think the expectation that you have because you smoke so many heavier tobaccos 
that when you come across one that's lighter, it necessarily might not be a problem in itself, but we become so acclimated to these heavier um, yes. flavor brands that when we get to it, we do, we're just not comfortable with it because we've been used to something else for so long. Oh, I wonder yeah. though, Matt, like if you were to start off with tobacco or earth as let's say that was your main driver for years, then you went to something like Azor, would it be too overwhelming for you? Uh, so interesting, in, interesting uh, side note. I started by smoking herbal tobacco. Uh, the brand Soex is the very first stuff that I ever like purchased and smoked on my own, um, and I thought it was fine. Like I had no issue with it, obviously, and stuff. And like looking back at like getting into even hookah hookah or hookah freak in the very very beginning stages of like picking up different things to smoke and stuff like that, I remember thinking like, oh, I, I, that Soex stuff is still pretty good. You know, looking back, that was obviously a very stupid thing to say for myself. Um, and it wasn't until I got into things like Starbuzz that, like, I really, really thought that it tasted, uh, you know, Soex was really bad in comparison to something like uh, Starbuzz or um, Al Fokker and stuff like that. But in the beginning, I thought it was perfectly acceptable to like Soex. <laughs> How about, all right, all right I'm going to throw something old at you, Steam Stones. I you only. I, yeah, I do remember those. Uh, I, I got into them very briefly. Uh, I got th- it, the Steam Stones brand uh, that came out. Was it was it Steam OS? Or I don't remember what it was now. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's, so long ago. That stuff was even weirder mouthfeel, in my opinion. I didn't like it the first time I tried it. I didn't like it the second time I tried it. And by the third time, I was like, you know what? I just don't want to do this anymore. I prefer the, the taste of the tobacco. I prefer – because – Vaping, so I don't like vaping. Do you vape at all, Frank? I don't like it. it it's too hot of a thorough hit for me, like too immediate. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I like the gradual pull from a hookah. Like I always purge a lot after every pull. Mm-hmm. I like that. I don't like to have that immediate hit of hot air in my throat. So that's why I don't like vaping. I don't like vaping just but. because it's so airy. It's so so airy. Um, you know, kind of goes back to maybe what you were asking about before. Like maybe if I would have started with vape, I would have like really dug it or something. I don't know. Um, but I I do not like vape. I'm not a fan of the way that it feels. Most of the flavors to me all taste the same. So like to me, I don't even like that aspect of like the way that they taste. So I did not like the Steam Stones even before because it was before vaping ever took off the Steam Stones actually. Well, in, in where I heard about it, I guess I should say. But I was not a fan of um, the Steam Stones because of the way that it felt. And the first time I ever did vape, I was like, this reminds me of Steam Stones, man. This is weird. I don't like it. I, yeah. I always did yeah. want to like it, though. FOMO? Is it F- or FUMO? FUMO has a brand of Steam Stones. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've never tried them, but I've always wanted to because they have like some pretty nice-sounding flavors, like uh, like vanilla something. I don't know. And I almost got some of those recently, but I decided that I probably shouldn't get them. <laughs> You know, I, I was just thinking, you know, there's something almost also therapeutic about doing hookah compared to you just picking up something that just vapes. Like, I agree. You know, I don't know. The whole, the whole process of setting it up, doing your pack, it's like it doesn't feel uh, repetitive because every single time you do it, every single day, it's a completely new experience because maybe you packed it better today than yesterday, maybe mm-hmm. a little worse, or maybe the heat's different today for some reason. I don't know. It's always, it's never, it's never linear, and I guess that's why I like it more than vaping. I I completely agree with that. Uh, the things about hookah that are quote unquote, you know, the same. Like the same things are the fact that like you're going to use a, a a device and you're going to put water in the vase and you're going to put tobacco in a bowl. But then everything else changes. I mean, you get you, you're putting different tobacco in the bowl. You're doing it in a different pack, just like you said, and. It is so – that's what I love about Pat Max, uh, honestly. Like, not to try to, like, you know, sound, like, sponsored, sold out, blah, blah, blah. But, like, legitimately, the one thing that I absolutely love about Pat Max is that it gives me this, like, really cool area that is, like, my packing area and stuff like that. And, you know, it's customized with the AM Hookah logo to me and stuff. But, like, that's – the it completely goes with that whole little, like, uh, I don't know. You, you set it up the way that you want to set it up and stuff. Right. I agree. Absolutely agree. Man, who knew that me and you could agree on so much stuff? <laughs> this, this, this whole time I just thought me and you would be mortal enemies our whole lives, you know. But it turns out we just agree on a whole bunch of stuff. 
We both don't like dickheads, and we both like packing our bowls to uh, top efficiency. Yeah, I mean, I, I you know, going back to bowls, you know, I, you know, I went from edgies, you know, the old style edgies into spires, and but now I've been finding myself actually going back to edgies like Don bowls, Japona bowls, and it it's weird. I actually have a you know, I guess if you do dark thief a lot, it's not preferred. It's not uh, preferred to do it that way because mm -hmm. they're not made for that. But if you do like alpha comma or something, I do prefer edgy bowls again Careful. over using a. Uh, Careful! Don't fire. say don't say alpha comma too many times. Otherwise, I gotta owe uh, Tommy a bunch of money. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna take my he's gonna take my bank account if I say alpha comma too many times. <laughs> I, uh, one of my favorite bowls that I have in my collection is uh, one of my. It's a. It's an. I, I believe it's Liberty. It's the Liberty Eggy Bowl, the one that has the raised spire in the middle, but you still can put the tobacco over top of it. Kind of looks like an, uh, an Apaca Apache Medium, but it, it's it's its own design. I'm pretty sure you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, yeah. I love that one because it is so reminiscent of a egyptian style bowl but it still gives that little bit of a crease to it i like the compa you know what i miss about some um egyptian or eggy bowls is the capacity to them like we don't get the oh, same yeah. like it is it is a completely different sort of capacity that you get with an egyptian bowl when you smoke out of something like a funnel bowl because that spire does take up an inherent amount of room so if you make the outside, if you make up the, if you make the outside larger, you're taking up more tobacco than you should need. But if you make it smaller, then you're taking up less tobacco than you may want. Um, and then the only way to really quote unquote fix that is to increase the depth. And the depth is not always the best thing that you want to increase. So it is interesting. They do function very differently, uh, even though they're they're both bowls. But there is a use case scenario for both type of bowls for sure. And what you find people doing, Matt, with the spire bowls, is that they end up trying to cram, you know, the same similar amount of tobacco mm -hmm. into the same into a smaller space. So it end up, ends up becoming like a medium dense pack, um, and it starts. You see people start coughing in the beginning pulls because they have to go through that little burnt sheesh at the top to get to the good stuff. But you know, really inside an edgy type bowl that depth actually will allow your tobacco to breathe a lot better and smoke a lot better i feel yeah i i, I could definitely see that be the case i think and and you know it's about getting comfortable with bowls we had a really good question uh the other day on the podcast when we had a uh, christian on uh about you know getting that bowl that you the first bowl that you got and you really liked packing it or you really understood packing it which i thought was a good way to put it uh one of one of my favorite all time bowls that you know even to this day for like tangiers and stuff like that is my is my alien bowl. You know it's just such a good bowl mm -hmm. to pack, especially for that type of tobacco when you're using mm -hmm. it. Like it just feels right. Yeah. Yeah, and simple, not complicated. Not complicated. Bowl. It doesn't have to be complicated, Frank. You don't need to spend an hour packing your bowl. Just throw it in there, as the uh, kids would say. Throw it in there. Yeah. Yeah, Paul. <laughs> what do you guys are what are you are you in a hangs right now no nah, if he's inside the room here oh okay i don't know if those guys are or not they yeah. probably are they i mean i'm sure they are that's what they do they they they, they go 24 7 can't stop won't stop that's those guys right there um the hookah hang the, yeah exactly they they don't know how to stop I, they, they're too young for me i tell you that much i'm too old i'm too i, I can't i can't do that shit no more <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you gonna you gonna play some Switch games with me, or are you are you gonna are you gonna be an old man yourself and call it well, a night? I could probably play one or two games. Okay, if you want to do that, I think the only game I have that you have, I was checking, was Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Dragon Ball Fighters. I'll play some Fighters. I won't even I won't even go hard on you. I won't even go ham on you. <laughs> Let me see. How do I add a friend? Oh yeah, top here. And friend list. Add a friend. Uh, I gotta exit this for game. Frank code. How do I find your friend code? Uh, I'll send it to you. 
on uh okay. i'll send it to you on messenger it's not that i don't want to give my friend code out on on stream it's just i've been doing this thing where i'm kind of maybe i'm overly selective i don't know i feel like i'm a little selective about who i who i add to stuff yeah maybe i shouldn't be maybe i should just accept everybody and then i'll be famous youtubers is that how youtubers do it uh no <laughs> i need to get more concerned <laughs> as time goes on <laughs> They don't want to be friends with everybody in the world. <laughs> yeah, especially some of these some of these hookah people. Am I right? Yeah. yeah. Right. Can't can't and trust them. Well, can't trust any of them. Just kidding. Not, not one. I don't think I got your. Oh wait. Okay, I'm I'm typing it. All right, it's in it's in one of these fucking group chats that that's going on yeah, in this world. I, I don't I don't know any of them. I don't I don't know how to use this stuff. Well, you just post it to the uh, bar stool. Oh, is that the one that I picked? I'm sure. The one that wouldn't sure stop blowing up today. Oh my god! I was in the meeting. Yeah, that one. I was in a meeting when that stuff was happening. I had to like throw my phone across to to like an open door. <laughs> getting me in trouble all you freaks okay i'm gonna i'm gonna load a bowl okay. while you add me to your to your friend profile real quick and get the game turned on and you can like maybe make a room or something like that because i have not actually loaded a bowl or anything so far tonight i've been lazy i haven't either i sent you a friend request okay you should just make a room yeah i gotta find the game first <laughs> i don't even know where it's at <laughs> Frank, I have so many Switch games, and I buy them all physical, so like I have way too much junk. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I buy everything physical. I don't believe in the government taking my digital media. You'll never find me, government. I just, I just know I'll lose those stupid little SD cards. I buy them. <laughs> They're so small. <laughs> okay, I'm turning on the game. I'm going to I'm gonna run and grab my tobacco and bring it over to the table. I'll be right back, okay? Go for it. All right, let's see. Charcoal's going. Brought tobacco over here. I think I'm ready to start loading. Um, you know, Frank, there's a there's a term in business that says you should never give away anything for free. Have you ever heard that before? Yeah. So I think that what that means is we need to get on all these groups real quick and post that me and you are about to do battle in an ultimate warfare and get people in this room to root for either you or for me. What do you think? Sure. All right, we need to. Yeah, we gotta. We gotta do some posts on some. Uh, I mean, some stuff. I Man, I feel bad for you. 
For what? What is that supposed to be? <laughs> Are you low key like a pro level or something? No, I'm <laughs> okay. just saying. Then I feel bad. For you. <laughs> I hope people root for you. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm I'm eager. I'm eager to get people into this. This we got. Okay, I'm gonna do a post. On what's that group that what's that little group that you you are in charge of that that nobody knows about? What's that group called? I even forget the name. <laughs> <laughs> that's what's gonna be. That's what's gonna happen after I beat you. They're gonna forget your name. <laughs> They're gonna talk about me with my hair. Oh boy! I have just enough. Your hair. Ultraviolet. Oh yeah, you do have good hair. I do have good hair. You know those 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 hair jeans. Uh, came over well. Oh, I problems. I need exit out. I have just enough ultraviolet to mix inside of this bowl of pink grapefruit. That's good. Why is this not working? There we go. So when is the next state of the smoke, Frank? Thursday. Thursday? It is, hopefully. Did you guys have a topic of sorts picked out or anything, or is it just going to be going over, uh, I guess, more of the of the stuff that's happened recently? You know what? Yeah, I think we're just going to go over um, not Kyle stuff anymore, but maybe like the group I. Mm -hmm. But mainly going over the prizes of the giveaway. Yes. Just we got a whole bunch of stuff in. Yeah, us here at the Aim Hookah Podcast, man, we are, we are super thankful for the stuff that you let us give away. You know, big thanks to you at THL, and then also big thanks to the people at uh, Sky Hookah Distribution as well. Um like, uh, so I just realized this right now, but uh, I accidentally forgot that I had two Dawn Bowls that I need to be giving away with this whole contest that we were supposed to be doing. So I have two bowls that I'm going to be giving away uh, next week on the AM Hookah Podcast. Are the other prizes still around or are they all given out at this point? They they are just – so all my stuff that was sent to me are all sent out. Um, the stuff from Adrian, I think he has maybe – Five? No, I think he has like four more uh, cans of Azor cigar to give away. But he said he's going to do a random live on the on this YouTube channel that everyone is watching right now. Uh, so if you want to be, if you want to participate in that, then keep an eye on this channel. Sub, hit the bell icon, and uh, he'll be doing a random live to give that stuff away. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So we still have very little to give away, but we've enjoyed it. I know that the light goals have been a lot of fun for us to do. Uh, we've 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 shattered all sorts of records every week. We do a new record, so that's been super cool as well. Um, but yeah, I'm almost done packing this bowl. I don't take quite as long no as Paul, but I'm close. Mine's still going through the intro. Here we go. For some reason, the password wasn't working. I had to reset it. That's good. Okay. Oh no. Yeah, we're back. Did you pull coals already? What do you think of that cigar, the cigar line?
Okay, let, let's let's see if I can get this relics ring foiled in the first try. By the way, did you choose a region? Yeah, or not? Uh, mine just auto selects at this point. Like, it just gets me into whatever it counts as being the best region for my connection. You going on Wi Fi or do you have a direct connect? Uh, Wi Fi. Oh, you're right next to me. I am? Is that me and you? Did you find me? I need to hit the A button. I see you next to me. Who are you? What's your name? I don't see you. Oh, did you add me yet? Only Matt? Yeah, that's me. What's Why your are name? you only Matt? Couldn't you be Matt and friend? Holy Hannibal, who the hell is this? You scared me, Tommy. <laughs> Tommy wants me Part to get a PS4 job. so that I can so I can beat him on that. Bro, I have my arcade stick. You won't stand a chance. And I have the hose holder. Come at me. You can't use the hose holder with the arcade stick. Ha! Joke's on you. You played yourself. I found a way for me to use it. <laughs> I think that might make the joke on you. Check it out. Relic's ring foiled the first time. Look at that beauty. Look at that beauty right there. Wow. I'm so proud of you, Matt. I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of myself right now. Coals are almost done. Oh, oh speaking of coals, news update. The Coconaro charcoals are not the business. Hot tea with hookah is the best thing, guys. Wow. Dude, that's a badass bowl. Yeah. I created a ring. I think you can go to it. Well, I'm right behind you. I don't know. Yeah, hold on. It'll... Camera under you. How, how do we do this? Ooh, we're gonna see Matt go get beaten again. I'll join ring. Right. Dragon Ball Fighter. Here we go. Oh yeah, this game's badass. Ring settings. I I created a ring already. Okay, so it's a join. Yeah, you should be able to walk up to me and hit join or something like that. Hold on a sec, but hold on. I gotta, I gotta post this all over the internet. That me and Tom, all me, me and Frank are about to go down. The war of the ages. Man, I'm waiting for Frank. I believe in you. Matt's not the greatest sometimes. Whoa! He choked under pressure. Whoa! <laughs> Throwing shade right now. Throwing shade. Matt, I've tuned into enough of these to know how you play. Yeah, awesome. Let's say failed enter. Oh, did somebody else join me? I think somebody else joined me. That's not you. Get out of here. Can I kick him? Hold on. I just closed the ring. That person tried to join me. How do I just do a, a private match? Tommy, do you know how to do uh, a private please, match? Uh, do it now. Right next to you. Okay, I'm doing it. I'm, I'm doing it right now. Two players ring max, so it's just me and you in here. Okay, try that. Vegeta blue, Goku black, and Goku super thing. Hmm. Super? Oh. Oh, oh dude, they're fucking great. That's a negative ghost rider. I do not have to do a private match. Oh, it's okay. We got it. 
Well, I didn't hear the question, and then I hear the 10 second delay on the TV, so. It's all good. Know. You're playing? No. He has a switch. It's okay. He has the inferior gaming system. You don't have to watch your buddy go down. It's okay. This is the first time I'm playing this, so. This is the first time you're playing it? Yeah, I had it. I never played cool. it. Cool. I can look good now. That's not even fair. Matt's gonna destroy him. That's it. I'm glad that you have faith in me knowing that he's never played it before. So glad. I think that's an unfair advantage to Matt. So glad that you believe in me doing this now. Hold on, I want to see. Sorry, so, Matt. We don't always believe in you, but when we do, we believe. <laughs> we don't always believe, but when we do, it's pretty good. Do you want to? Do you want to do? Uh, you want to do uh, some uh, training mode or anything for just a little while? I was going to see if I could get the. Uh, the this place to fill up just a little bit with a couple of people from Paul's here. What's up, Paul? How you doing? Me and Frank are about to do battle. I'm smoking out of my relics ring. Oh yes, I am smoking out of the relics ring. Pink grapefruit, ultra violet, the very last that I have of it. Um, Frank, your connection looks like poo poo garbage. What do you mean? Talk about throwing shade, jeez. I can see your connection on my side of things for your your uh, your your group of people, and it, it looks like poopy caca. Jeez, can you tell me I'm throwing shade? Look at you. Hold on. Well, I'm in fighting oh, mode mercy. now. I'm oh, in, is that right? I'm in you're fighting in rap mode. mode. No, you're in fighting mode. Yep. Rap mode. Rap mode. Rap mode. Rap mode. Rap mode. Rap mode. That's like mumble rap mode right there. Wait, Frank. What are you smoking? That's the question. Nothing yet. <laughs> oh, I should have. I should have let you load a bowl while we waited for people to come in. I apologize. Okay, I'm gonna use this. So, do you know what the buttons are? I don't want. I don't want to just like start going ham on you. I f I'd feel bad. I don't know what the buttons are. I'm gonna find them out right now. Who are you? I forgot which one button I picked. Button mash. That's all you got to do. In a situation like this, get him in the corner and button mash. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, he's just like, he's like, yeah, you want to get ready? <laughs> I offered. <laughs> okay. There you go. That's a good question. That's potato. Shut up. <laughs> Matt, what kind of hookah scene is over there in Idaho? Say what? Hookah scene? Yes. You're speaking to him. Ha! To answer your question, there is none. It's only Matt doesn't. I, I am the hookah scene. I'm the hookah guy for all my friends and stuff like that. You got to block. Hey, uh, uh, Paul's trying to offer you some advice right now. He says you need to block. Is he? I can't see. I know I need a block. <laughs> uh, where are you? Where are you, Paul? Get in here. Let's start playing. We'll we'll do a room of three people. We can do me, you, and Frank, and we can take turns kicking Frank's butt. <laughs> just kidding. I'm just no, kidding. No, that's just taking on Frank now. <laughs> that's fun. That's fun. Frank, I still believe in you. Don't worry. <laughs> Thank you for your belief. Part of what I'm here for. You know what? I think we might be yeah, able to go into the training mode together. John just said, damn it, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. See, that's the thing. Everybody yeah. wants to see me lose. Most people, I don't know what it is about me. It's just my, like, happy-go-lucky nature. But, like, everybody wants to see me lose at video games and stuff. But I've accepted it. It's okay. I understand. That's just that's me as life. That happens. Mm. Kind of sad, but mm. whatever. All right. Um. Maybe I don't know if we can go into the practice room together. Oh, Darth Paul just joined. Get off of Let's Play oh, Pikachu. God. Get off of that, Paul. We're gonna wait in here. Frank, you want to go get a bowl ready? Uh, no. I'll do it. 
after we play a couple. You want to go again? I, I'll, yeah, I'm down. Okay. Do you want me to? I'm gonna. I'm gonna legitimately not attack you. Learn some button stuff, okay? You do need to hit A okay. though. Sheesh, Matt, tone it down. All right, you can't be ruthless killer all the time. Tommy, your time will come. I'm what? Your time will come, Tommy. When we go to Vegas next time, I'm bringing the Switch. You won't need to. Bro, hug, you won't need to hug around your PS4. Bro, I'm bringing my PS4. I got two controllers. Let's go, girl. I'm down. Rap battle, Dragon Ball Z fighters. Ooh. Shit's gonna go crazy. I'm downloading. Oh, Paul, you let me down. No, there was an update that hit. All right. Now so, we need to get you on our Christmas album. The Hookahologist Christmas uh, album is gonna be lit. We wrote a song last night. It's called Smokymon. Smokymon. I want to hear this. Yes, Do you need the some beats? Yes, remix to the original Pokemon theme song. Do you need some beats, Tommy? You know what? You give me a beat, and I'll make an R&B song. Guaranteed fact. Well, I was going to give you a trap song, though. Oh, okay. I'll get, <laughs> I'll get gangster real quick. Okay, Frank. I'll get a do-rag. <laughs> Frank, Y yeah. is your light attack, X is your medium attack, and then A is your heavy attack. B is your energy blast. Uh, pushing back in B is going to do a reflecting attack. Holding, uh, you know, you can do like a, what's it called? A, uh, not a shuriken, a hadouken motion for any of your button, any of your buttons at all. And it'll do some sort of different arrangement of it. And then you can do the backwards hadouken to do some different stuff too. And depending on your, your key level will depend on how, what kind of uh, move you do. And if you hit Y and B together... You'll charge up. If you hit, if you hit X. Oh, are you? Oh, are you here, Paul? I am. Oh, what's up, Paul? How you doing? Paul's in the room. If you hit X and Y, Frank, then you'll do a instant transmission attack. Like that. And if you continue hitting Y, you'll do your own super move too. Yeah, as long as you have one. Uh, what's it called? One in the store. One stored. And then, okay, so Frank, now for the advanced stuff. If you do the Hadouken hitting ZR, that's going to do one of your, your uh, mega moves or your super special attacks. You have to hit, you have to hit it pretty quickly. I love how you refer to it as Hadouken. Yeah, well, that's everyone knows it. Or the or the uh, freeze from uh, Sub-Zero. Yeah, that's how they used to do it. Yeah. What's everybody smoking? Uh, I'm smoking pink grapefruit uh, mixed with ultraviolet. Oh, very nice. I am smoking green savior. Of course you are. You, huh, bro? Yeah, of course I am. Well, I bought the only two 250 grams, so I'm just going through the motions here. <clears throat> I got uh, black tea, Jamaican guava, and Uber mint. His, his, Ooh, uh, his super special is very cool. Do a backwards Hadouken ZR. It's a very, very cool uh, super special. Backwards Hadouken? Yeah. Frank, I hope you're lighting your cold. Do you know what a Hadouken is, Frank? Yeah, I know what a Hadouken is. <laughs> I'm, I'm just wondering. I believe you. I'm trying to, what was the Hadouken again for this? It's it's down forward, or down backwards. Go, You know, just do sweeping motion, down backwards, ZR. Frank, oh, Okay. if you if you knew what a Hadouken was, you would have already known the button. No, it's, no, it's ZR. Did I, I don't think I changed my That's buttons fair. configuration. That's the normal layout. Oh, there we go. You got it. This is such a cool super. Forward. And then it's, uh, it should be fierce punch. I just do ZR. Oh, wh whoa. Look at him go. Look at him go. What the fuck is ZR? ZR on your, on your uh -oh. controller. Uh -oh. Oh, Yo, R2, button, R2. Hot buttons on the Switch? Oh, no, it's it's. What are you talking about? It's not hot buttons. It's the button configuration. No, there's. I didn't know there's hot buttons on Switch, man. <laughs> I thought it was just X, Y, B, and A. <laughs> well, all you're playing is Pokemon. You don't need to know any of that shit. Yeah, I know. Well, I do now. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Why did I not know that? You just made my day. Thanks, getting the hang of it. 
He is. You're starting to get some stuff rolling. Well, I have this, uh, so I have the Switch on like a, uh, a Game Boy kind of setup, mm -hmm. and uh, I have these little grips on it that I bought. So I never have to like touch the top. I'm just like holding on to the grip. Tristan, That's pretty legit. Tristan, what's up, man? We're, we're, I'm, I'm fighting Frank right now, and Paul's going to be joining here very shortly. Right, if I you're have three minutes to finish downloading. Yeah, I'm, I'm assuming you're probably at work, Tristan, so you probably can't join us in the phone conversation. But feel free to if you are not at work. Oh boy, look at look at Frank go. Dang, Frank's got the moves. I'm a giant move. Hey, who's uh? Is Magic Blue in this game? Am I what? Is Matt what? <laughs> Magic Blue. Do you use a smart controller so. for this? Like the uh, phone controller? No, I actually use the Joy Cons in the the just the holder. Okay. Are you done downloading yet? Uh, two minutes. Jeez, Matt, be patient. <laughs> just curious. <laughs> I'm just wondering. What do you have to say about the relics? Right? The third time you've asked in the past like ten minutes. Tristan, we. Oh my God, that the whole thing. We talked about it a lot yeah. on this channel already. Um, oh I haven't heard what Paul has to say. If Paul, you want to say your piece, you're more than welcome to. I'm, I'm upset. Yeah, that's the easiest way to I'm put upset. it. I'm upset. I'm, I'm upset, and I'm extremely, extremely disappointed. Yeah. Um. You know, we we spoke to him a lot during the expo. Uh. I thought better of the guy, and I gave him a lot of doubt. That's why I never really commented in the whole explosion of uh, of everything uh, that was going on in the groups, because I was like, maybe you know, maybe there's something in the background going on. Uh, and then to hear this today, I mean, I, I already kind of knew it, yeah, you know, uh, beforehand, but the way, but I didn't know, I didn't know the full full story. You know what I mean? Yeah, really hoping um, it wasn't true. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and then uh, I think I'm more disappointed um, than anything else. I, I, I spoke to the guy, and I thought I, I had, I thought I had a kind of like a super personal connection, you know. It's a really overcomplicated way to say super saiyan blue. Yeah, man. I, I, like, I'm a little bit speechless, speechless and I just, uh, I just want to help our friend. Right. That's, uh, that's kind of my whole thing right now. As you get to, once you get to the end of the Goku, he becomes stronger. Well, for the most part, Gohan, right? No. Yo, it's downloaded. Uh, oh, it's about to get real. Hop in and tell me when you're ready to go, and I'll, I'll <coughs> change the room so we can have three people in here. That gives Frank a chance to pack a bull. Exactly. Well, I'm going to need some training, too. Maybe. Have you played this yet, Maybe. Paul? I haven't. This is the first time I'm firing it up. Oh, man. I'm the reason why you guys are even training. That's not even fair. Match is like going to get easy wins all night. Well, it's not ranked, The, uh, so the okay. last fighting game I played was maybe Tekken 4. Oh, you got me. You got me on that. Good job, Frank. Tekken 4, that was a long time ago. Yeah, I know. It really does. Play online, right? Yeah, play online. Attention. This game has an autosave feature. Okay. Paul, you're going to really enjoy this game. It's so much fun. Like the truth, man. That's fucking funny. Well, that was a nice hit. I can, I, can, I can hear the video in the background. Can you? Yeah, there's a 10 second delay when I made the call. Are you uh? Are you hey, caught do, up do on I Super? Have to do... I finished Matt, Super do a I long have to, time uh, ago. Start, sign up with uh, online. Uh, I just can you pick an auto, an auto fill one or whatever? Maybe the movie's coming out pretty soon. <laughs> Hey, I'm not sure. It's asking me to do a membership or whatever. Hey, Tommy, I'm gonna I'm gonna mute you, okay? Sounds perfect. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Did you sign up for some sort of membership, Frank? For what? For this? For this? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Oh, so I guess you gotta sign up.
All right, why don't you go All pack right. a bull, Frank, and I'll wait for Paul to get in, okay? Well, I'm just going to start the seven-day free trial. Oh, you gotta, yeah, you got to sign up for the Nintendo Switch online service. That's what it is. Yeah. I, I didn't know that. Yep, Nintendo is making everyone pay. Well, if you guys want, you guys can play a little bit first while I'm paying my bowl. Yeah, go right, to, go right ahead and get your yeah. stuff ready. You said you're able to see my connection. Is that why your icon's green and mine's like gray? Uh, what is this? I don't know. I think that's because you haven't played any online fights yet. I can see your actual Wi Fi connection, and it's saying that it's not very good. Five dollars, and I'll add you to mine for a year. Oh, you can do the family plan with people. I decided not to just because I didn't want to have to worry about somebody not getting into it and stuff. I, I didn't know if that was going to be a, a worry or not. I don't know if I can change this lobby as I'm in it. I might have to get out of it and redo it. Alright, I'm signing up right now. Signing in with the Nintendo ID. Alright, I'm going to make my ball. I'll okay. watch you guys while I do that. Okay. My name is only Matt in this, um, Paul. When you get in, just walk straight through the front of it. And then turn left, and you'll see my I'm I'm Goku Super Saiyan three, and you'll see me and Frank standing next to each other. All right, one sec. There's so many steps just to play the game. Well, it's because you haven't set it up yet. That's the that's not that's not steps. That's uh, that's needing to get done beforehand. <laughs> well, I already paid for the game, and now they want me to play pay again to pay play the game. Yeah, for the online service, that's different the same to me it's uh this is ea all over again <laughs> is that you no that's not you never mind oh i'm just setting up my paypal I'm just gonna, just gonna do the same all right account link all right we should be good okay tell me when you get in what are you smoking paul um, I'm smoking black tea, Dominican guava, and uber mint. Ooh, black lava bowl. Yep. I just got my order in from Hukasat, so. Everything showed up like it was supposed to? Uh, a couple of the kilos that I ordered weren't available anymore, so they refunded me all my money, but it's pretty painless. You know, every time I had a question, because I started freaking out after all the stuff online, mm -hmm. I gave him a call to pick right up. It was, yeah, it wasn't a. That's good. It wasn't an issue. See if I can find you. Come through the front door. I'm in the auto lobby one. Is the lobby that I'm in? The yeah. auto well, joint. Uh, Saying preparing my network. Okay. Are you are you All using? Right, I think Goku. Are you using Wi-Fi? Yeah. Wait. Can this uh, hook up to an Ethernet cable? Yeah, but you have to buy a USB one. I need to buy a dongle. Yeah, you got to buy a dongle. What is up, B. Lou? My main man, Pots and Pans, hanging out as usual. We've been playing all sorts of fun stuff tonight. How do I skip the intro? I can't. All right. Oh, yeah, you got to watch it the first time. It's goofy that way. Okay. Android 13's in it. That's cool. Napa's in it. Captain Ginyu. There's lots. Hey, 
everybody uses Goku, it seems like. I'm going to do a anti-Goku build. Goku's good. He's classic. Yo, Krillin's in it. Krillin's pretty good. Yamcha's pretty good in this. Yamcha's like super fanfare. Alright, loading that. Ooh. Oh my goodness. America. English. Doing some matches, Lou tonight with some people in the chat. You gotta get a switch. We can play. Uh... Oh, yeah, John just said, Matt, this orange chocolate. I love it. It's so good. The orange chocolate has to be one of my absolute favorites from the uh, the vintage line. I absolutely love it. It tastes exactly like those candies that you, you'd buy like during like the holiday season and stuff, where it's like chocolate with the orange gummy inside of it. It's like orange jelly or something like that. Yes, Super Smash Brothers will be the next game cast, and everybody that has Super Smash Brothers is welcome to come in and play. We'll be doing a lot of fun stuff. Tommy, I'm going to unmute you for a little while. So you can well, join I mean, in no on the one conversation. Really knows about until you go to a lounge, to be what? quite honest. What are you guys talking about? Oh, because we're talking. Well, when we're muted, we packed another bowl because we wanted to try something out and so I can. We're just talking about the old lounge I used to work at. Mm -hmm. and why his lounge isn't open no more. Why, and a lot of other stuff. Uh, Tommy, are you excited to try that Azor cigar flavor you have coming your way? I am. I'm so excited. I don't know if it came in yet. I haven't called my mom's place. No, it, it hasn't come in yet. Uh, I think he's going to ship it out this okay. weekend. Perfect. Yeah, I'm so excited. Hopefully he'll be there for Monday so you can join in and smoke it on uh, the, the podcast. Well, hopefully I'll have better calls by then. <laughs> Which So the Cocoa, the Cocoa uh, Blaze were not that great? No, they're not. I don't like how they get black super easy. I was using an 80 feet 80 bowl, so I don't think, I think that that may have had like wire bowl didn't taste so good, so we're trying it off the red clay uh, funnel bowl right now. Paul, do you have any experience with the Cocoa but Blaze? No, this is my first time. All right. Confirm everything. All right. I'm in the lobby. I'm going to go to the left. I don't see you guys. I don't see you either. Are you in the autofill lobby, or which lobby are you in? I don't know. I'm wandering around right now. My name is Superhero Man. I'm in the West Coast lobby. Should I switch? Yeah. How do I uh, do that? Plus. Let's see. If you if you go back to the door that you came into and you try to exit, it'll say exit current lobby and move to a different one. Oh, it just kicked me out for some reason. Hold on a second. What uh? What are you guys on like East Coast or something? Uh, well, I'm in North America, U.S. East Coast one. Is that the one you're in? I was in West Coast one. All right, so North America, East Coast one. Got it. Okay, I'm, I'm loading it Meeting too. Meeting Lobby 1? Meeting Lobby 1, sure. All right, bowl number two, guys. Let's see if this one tastes better. John, I haven't played Monster Hunter for the Switch. I've never been a big Monster Hunter fan. Just for whatever reason, I just never got into it. So it probably was the bowl, then. Probably didn't have the right bowl for the bowl. Hold on, where are you at? Right, where, where, yeah, superhero man. Um, I'm on the left side. I'm right next to you. Hold on, stop moving. Right. Stop moving. I see you. Yeah, I, that was my bad. How you doing? Yeah. How, how you doing? Okay, hold on. Hey, why you got? You got like yeah, super super going on. Yeah, right? I think personally, I think I messed up the ball. Okay, I'm setting well, up a good. ring right Monday now. Monday to Friday, who calls you? They shouldn't have any problem. Monday for Friday. And after it gets set up, you can hit A on me and you can join. On your what? My cousin. I'm cutting back on cussing. I cuss, I cuss a lot. So ring cat, what is it? Join ring? Yep. Oh, somebody else joined it. Get out of my ring, Blitz. 
I don't want you. All right. Yeah, it is, right. A, lot, it is a lot better now. Okay, I'm going to start what another ring. Hold on. BGM. Oh. I wish I knew how to set this up so that it could only be friends. Oh, ring party. Let's see. Hold on. Nope. Ring password. Okay, the ring password is going to be 1000, okay? All right. Perfect. Once it gets set up. Get out of here, Blitz. Well, what hookah are you smoking out of? Zero one. Zero one. I wanted a little bit of restriction. Can you guess what hookah I'm using right now? That's my roommate. My roommate. Uh, like smoke fever. Yep. Yeah. Sure am. Yeah, buddy. Uh, what is this uh, room setup thing? Edit team. What is this? Uh, oh, you pick a team to use. Yeah. You should be able to join my room though now if you click on me, and it's one zero 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 is the password. I just pick a team. All right, whatever. I chose. I chose the one with Derek. All right, just hit A a couple times, and we can get into it. We'll figure it out. So, how, what's the button? Okay, so Y is going to be your light attack, X is your medium, and A is your heavy. B is your blast, backwards B is a deflect, uh, and then the top buttons, like ZR is your dash, and then uh, I don't know what the other ones are off the top of my head. I'd have to try to use them. Right, what's block? Just block is just button. hold backwards. I used oh, to right. have them unlock because uh, Dylan showed me, but I stopped doing it and I, they won't come out as good. Oh boy, look at you go. Oh snap, look at that, look at that. Isn't that dude the main, like the main battle thing? You super? You? No, he's a, he's a villain for one of the movies, but he's not really a villain. Oh, you got that figured out. <laughs> How do you switch characters? Uh, hold your uh, Z, L, or, or L. Just hold it down. The mother god took over Goku, basically. So okay, all right, all if, right. If you uh, do multiple attacks with Y or X, you'll do an auto combo. This is like the, the Y auto attack right there. And then your X auto attack will give you a super as well. If you just click Z, L, or L, you'll bring on one of your friends to just do an attack. There you go. There's your block. All right. I'll just let you mess around for a little while. Oh, he does a show you again. <laughs> you know how to do a, a bow and then another O in between it? If you hold Y and B, yeah. you'll power up. If you hit X and Y, that's how you do your instant transmission attack. You're and in instant transmission. If you hit Y and X, yeah. you'll do that dragon rush that you just did right now. Hit's pretty cool. I feel, I feel like I should be playing. I, should, I feel like I should, I should be fighting Franklin. Just. Hit is pretty cool. Hit it just kind of moves around, kind of funky. That you like Hit as well, Tommy? Yeah, Hit's one of my top characters. Who who do you it's, use? Uh, Who's your hit. team? Uh, mostly it's Frieza, Hit, and then I'll, you know, go between. Uh, I want to say Goku Black and even uh, Bardock. I use I use hit the most. I keep him in reserves. He's my number one. 
Oh yeah, there's a big learning curve. A little bit. It, it once <laughs> you once you start getting the hang of it though, you definitely get the the feel of like the motion that you go through. I love the animation on this. Oh yeah, it's so good. You know, this is the first Dragon Ball game I got excited for in a long time. You didn't care for I've Xenoverse? I've one like Marvel vs. Capcom. I have Xenoverse 2. Like, I liked it, but every every Dragon Ball game is more or less the same. It has the same storyline. you got to go through the whole, you know, every arc, and then. but this one was just completely original. I like that I like that it changed it up a little bit with Xenoverse, though. Like, I like the time manipulation that you did with it and, like, the whole... Uh, What's it called? You know, the whole, you got to save the timeline and stuff like that. I thought that was kind of cool. Oh, yeah. No, I agree. It was, like, these oh, were, story those two games were pretty much yeah, impressive. There, there's a full story mode to this as well. There's a story mode. There's an arcade mode. There's a great online fighting, uh, you know, uh, community behind it and stuff. It's a game that still there hasn't been a drop off on the people playing. It's like there's always stuff to do. Um, that's cool. I'm done with that. After a while, Paul, you'll get used to it. Yeah, that's pretty funny. Yeah, Tommy believes in you because everybody like a, wants to see me lose. You know, I, uh, uh, Paul, like once the, every other weekend we have a fighting tournament here. You should come by. You're so far, Tommy. I'll just take my stuff with, to me to you. What the hell? I have a car. Richmond's really far from you, dude. How far is far? This is, I mean, like, with traffic in San Jose, getting to my house is like two and a half hours from where you're at. That's far. I mean, the way I drive, I'll probably get there pretty quick. I mean, you should experience the, the stuff that I got. Hit a couple No, times like, I see hold. your setup, yeah. and I just get amazed by yeah, it. Uh, how do I switch uh, characters? Uh, once you're in the room, I don't know if you can. Hold on a second. Go to battle area. Leave preset. Let me get a lot of that, honestly. How do you like in Boulder? Oh, hit hit the plus button and uh, go to edit your team. Honestly, I think it's the first time it was all me. I can't, like, automatically... I can't just choose different teams. No, you have, all, all you have to set them all up. You have to set them up. Ah, see. All right. Well, that's stupid. There might be a way to do, like, a local battle. You know, let me get out of this real quick, okay? Let me see if I can go somewhere real quick, and I think I can set something else up so it's easier to do. Yeah, me and my girlfriend recently broke up. Alright, almost done. No more think class. You should have started packing your bowl last week, Frank. What was that? You should have started packing your bowl last week. Oh, what's up, Frank? You back? <laughs> oh, what's up, Frank? You back? Yeah. Ten minutes for you. Yeah. We're in U.S. East Coast We're in One US meeting room. East Coast One meeting room. Whatever. Get over it. U.S. East Coast uh, meeting room One. How long was yours? How long was yours? Three if you want to change your room, you just gotta leave where you entered. Leave where you entered. I think I'm already. Oh, there's something called party match. Maybe that's what we gotta go to. I don't think I. That's what we gotta go to. Party match. Yeah, let me try to click that. Yeah, let me try to click that. Create. I'm gonna create a party match. I'm gonna create a party match. I work somewhere. Hey, what's up, man? Hey. Hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? Create a party match. Great party view explanation. The first couple of weeks, I thought. Yeah, I just, just learned to get by it. Oh, no, this is going to be like shuffling oh, through a different people. Like she do a breakup? That's the hoop all just way. Let me, let me get back out of this. Let me just set up a ring match. Let me just set up a ring match. I'm going back out to the area. Go back out, here. out to the area. Out here. You know what? If, you're gonna, if you don't buy that one, go if you go to Hookah Junkie. They have a lot of good specials for like pack for like when you get a bundle. Let me check see which area I was in. I don't know. Edit North America. America. Did they have a good the U.S. Deal? East Coast one, you said? Yeah, East Coast one. In order, 
Or you can order, like, a new Luka order to get food with you. Oh, like, I'm you trying to get the good one. Yeah, but I can't get it. Yeah. 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 Who I want. Yeah. But I can't find it. I, I haven't tried it. Was that yes, the meeting lobby one? Yep, meeting lobby There's one. There's another one pulled up. And we're standing. <laughs> Tommy, I'm, I'm muting you. I'm muting you, Tommy. I'm muting you. I'm muting you, Tommy. Okay, um. I'm going to find you, Frank. you, Frank. What's your name? What's your name? Why does it sound so evil? I don't know. I think you're gonna find me. I don't know. <laughs> What's up, I'm here in New doing? York. Does anybody does anybody here know of Frank Cephalou? Frank what? Frank what? <laughs> I set up a uh, ring room. Set up a uh, ring room. The password is one zero zero. Password is one zero zero. We're standing in front of the battle or the, or the party battle. Battle or the party battle. Frank, what's your name on this? Frank, what's your name? You're we're not here, like using in, uh, Discord because we're not. I don't know, Discord Tristan. We're not. I don't know. Oh, I there see. you are. Follow me. There you are. Follow me. There's, there's Matt right there. There's Matt right there. All right, I see one of you. All right, I see one of you. Oh, I see both of you. I see both of you. Okay, so I think you see, can... Matt, it says your connection sucks. What? This is for me. What? Yeah. shows like your red Wi-Fi signal. How about for you, Paul? <coughs> That's what? Paul. That's Paul. I don't know. Yeah, I'm on, I'm on Wi-Fi. All right, I think you can. So how do we play together? I think you can. Well, I think you can. If you hit A, well, you can go to that watching area and you can watch us fight. Watching area and you can watch us fight. Okay, I'll watch you fight. Yeah, go ahead. There. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, goddamn. Oh, I can go to the next. Yeah, but I don't know if you can watch us from there. Yeah, but I don't know if you can watch us from there. How do I switch my team again? Oh, hit hit, again? hit the plus button. Oh, hit hit the plus button. Oh, that's right. I just did. Uh, I'll do watching. Okay. See what this does first. Fine, I'll use these guys. Fine, I'll use these guys. What's the temperature out here? Character editing. Go back. Oh, the hut is 22 right now. The what? Oh yeah, that's a... What are you doing in the hut? Oh, you're smoking. That's what you're doing in the hut. <laughs> Is that even a question? Can you, can you I'm using hex cold right now. They're smoking really good. Yeah, I'm watching you guys right now. Okay. All right, I gotta figure out how to like customize my team. Uh, if you put, there's a button that you can push when you're in that mode. There's a button that you can push when you're in that mode. This poll also has zero matches. Yeah, it's ranked. <laughs> yeah, it's ranked. Oh. This is Paul's first time, too. This is Paul's first time, too. You're just popping all the chairs today. <laughs> I guess so. I guess so. Well, I did oh, buy shit. this game so I could play with Matt, so. I did the same. And I'm happy to have you. I'm happy to have you. <laughs> He's like... Welcome to my house, the bitches. <laughs> He's just like, walk to us. Oh, I was. Yeah, uh, you... I thought I was the uh, other Goku. I was like, what, what, how am I doing all this? <laughs> I was not doing anything. <laughs> no, you're just standing there. <laughs> there you go. Which go? Which Vegeta are you? There you go. Which go? Which Vegeta are you? Yeah, I'm the one that's not winning. You gotta block the cheetah, bro. Oh god. Oh god. Blocking doesn't work. <laughs> I think blocking is pretty good. Like Did something. Skill. Oh, I thought that in my aura switch. 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 Switch, Vegeta. The button doesn't work, Matt. It does. You gotta hold it. 
It says you gotta hold it. I'm holding it. Oh, well, I can't do that now. You don't know what that is? Yeah. Matt didn't did know you just triple combo me? <laughs> yep, I did. Yep, I did. How do you, how do you do that? When you get into one of the big supers, you, you can hold down the ZL or the L and you can bring on your other people. Yeah, take like that. Die. I think I'll I'll watch you and Frank do a battle. I'll watch you and Frank do a battle. <laughs> What's up, cars? How you doing? You? Are you are you not are you not entertained? No, I thought that was great. I I loved it. No, I thought that was great. I I loved it. What's up, Raul? How you doing? What's up, Raul? How you doing? He feels more powerful. <laughs> Finding us. No, not at all. No, not at all. He's like, all these nights I spent training, I paid off. <laughs> <laughs> I am the true Dragon Ball Z warrior. <laughs> all right. We're about to see uh, the best fight in the DBZ universe. I'm about to take place right now. Hey, that's in my side. <laughs> all right, I'm watching. I'm watching. I don't know. 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 And we're using the same characters. That's really great, Frank. Good choice. Well, what the fuck? I want Goku. You got Goku. You got Goku. This should be fun. This should be fun. <laughs> Thank you, Cars, for noticing my new haircut. Thank you, Cars, for noticing my new haircut. Why can't we use the, uh, the deep head to like, move these guys around? You can't? Well, maybe you can. Shit. Hey, if you're powering up, you're not supposed to attack. You know Dragon Ball. Have you not watched the anime? <laughs> Well, thank you for joining us, Raul. We appreciate you stopping by. We appreciate you stopping by. We got Frank and Paul Frank doing and mega battle Paul right now. Mega battle right now. I don't know who's who, though. I don't know who's who, though. Frank is Monte Vegeta. Die. Quit, do, quit doing that, bitch. Uh, dash, dash at him. Oh, bird your hair. Dash, dash. Dash, dash. Okay. <laughs> what did? How do you switch again? L L. Yeah, hold it. Hold it down the yeah, L buttons. Hold it, hold it down the L buttons. Oh, both of them. Oh, uh, either one. Oh, either one. We are oh, okay. It's not working. Just gotta hold it down for a little while. Just hold, hold down ZL. I feel like I'm holding it down. Well, he just killed me now. I don't think my switch is working. <laughs> <laughs> Push ZR, Paul. Ah. ZR, ZR. I'm pressing ZR. He's not doing anything. <laughs> this is so hard to watch. So hard to watch. There you go. There you go. Yeah, how do you like that, bitch? Yeah, 
Take that, Frank. <laughs> yeah, look, people, I can play this game too. <laughs> Frank, hold ZR, Frank. <laughs> hold ZR, Frank. <laughs> Man, y'all really suck at this. <laughs> yeah, boys. No. No, I got moist in the house. freezing in Texas and your nipples get hard. God damn it. And they fall off. You figured out my plan. Man, people are actually watching this horrible battle right now. This is awesome. What are you talking well, about? Well, we don't know how to, one, we don't know how to switch characters. This is just like the anime, okay? Look at this. Die! Die! Oh, he had a... <laughs> crouch, you're shorter than him! <laughs> <laughs> DR, Paul. DR, Paul. No, you can't put out my plan. Hit that, Paul. No, don't be. Hit that. Hit that. Hit that. <laughs> Matt, the strawberry guava is on point, by the way. I'm about to smoke a second bowl of it right now. I bet it's good. I, I want to try some. I want to try some. <laughs> You guys are really good at this. I don't know. My characters won't switch. I don't know what happened. Who won? I don't even know who won. I don't even know who won. Frank did, because you just press the same button all the time. I'll get revenge for you, Paul. You couldn't get, you couldn't get past my offensive there, Paul. Well, my switch buttons weren't working, okay? There we go. I, I plugged it back in. Maybe it'll work now. I don't know if you got to go to watching or if you can go to next and watch it. Uh, maybe leave the room. Oh, what? There you go. What? Uh, I'm, I'm coming back in. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna mess around with seeing if I can play with characters. If you Moise, what are you smoking? What are you smoking? Azor strawberry guava. Azor strawberry guava. Mm -hmm. I'm doing midnight dragon. So if you push start, Paul. So if you push start, Paul. And then you yeah. push Y, it'll let you, you select who y, you want on your team. It'll let you select who you want on your team. Oh, I see. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. Okay, I'm ready for whoever wants to join me. I'm ready for whoever wants to join me. Well, we're gonna have Krillin because. He's awesome. He's awesome. Nah, we don't need no tank. We don't need the go tank. <coughs> Alright. Why isn't there... I don't have people saying Goku. Like, blue. Yeah, you have to unlock him, or you can pay yeah, for him. Yeah, you have him. to unlock him, or you can pay for him. Uh, what, is Vegeta blue? Uh, yeah. I unlocked uh, Vegeta yeah. blue. I unlocked the cheap blue. You can unlock him in the arcade yeah. mode, I you think. You can unlock him in the arcade mode, I think. Oh, here we go, Frank. Oh, here we go, Frank. How do I use my um, Hadouken? XR? You just uh, do you just, down, uh, forward, do B. Down, forward, B. No, like the power move, the superpower. Bye, Raul. I don't know if I already missed Bye, you. Bye, Raul. I don't know if I already missed you. Your power move? Your power move? Yeah. You have to have some stuff in your stock, you and then you can just do uh, forward, down forward or back uh, forward, down forward or ZR. Back forward, ZR. Oh, okay. You want to power up? Power up. <laughs> no! Sorry, <laughs> man! Don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Ooh, we got it. Ooh, we got it. I was wondering how long I could block on you. I was wondering how long I could block on you. God damn it. That was fun. That was fun. It was a good exercise. Good exercise. <laughs> it is a finishing destructive move. Matt, did you get the new Hearthstone set? Matt, I did not, Tristan. I need to log into that. I haven't logged into it for a long time. I haven't logged into it for a long time. All right. What do you want to do? Do you want Paul? You want to go with me, or do you, or do you want me to watch you guys go again? I want to get good at this game. I want my switch button to work. Let me try to switch it. I will. I will. I will, I will. I don't, you, I don't think my switch button will work. I'll let you try a few things. <laughs> LZ, and you just hold it down and switch your character. Yep. Are or, you at the match already? Yeah. Or, or hold L. Yeah. Or hold L. Or hold L. So one of the L buttons, you just hold it. Yep. Yep. You have to be not touched for a little while. Be not touched for a little while. Oh, I see. So, like, when Frank was hitting me, it was not going to work. Yeah, that might have been why. Yeah, that might have been so it's not like Marvel vs. Capcom where you just like switch it on the fly even though you're getting combos and shit. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I'm holding L. So I'm holding L. LZ, LZ, holding it, holding it. Hmm. Still holding it. Still holding it. That's weird. That's weird. It's not working. See, if I hold <laughs> L, see, that, that was me holding L. ZL right yeah, there. That was me holding ZL right there. It was working earlier. I wonder, I, it's it, be I, it. I wonder if it's because you have easy mode on. That easy green on. icon right, that you right. have is it, it says you yeah. have the easy mode. Just try yeah. tapping one of the L buttons. Just try tapping one of the L buttons. <coughs> nope. Nothing? Nothing. See Nothing? that's what happens if I just tap it. That's what happens if I just tap it. What the hell? I have no idea. I have no idea. How do you turn easy mode on? How how do you what? How do you want? Turn easy mode off. Uh, you gotta do it when you're selecting uh, you your people. You gotta do it when you're selecting your people. Here, try to push some buttons uh, and right. see if you can try figure some stuff out. see if you can figure some stuff out. Well, I know how to power up, but I'm What happens when you when you tap what Z when you, R? When you tap Z R. When I tap it, here I'm tapping it now. Okay, yeah, that's your that's your okay, dash. That's your that's your dash.
Yeah, I think uh, easy you yeah, won't need to be turned off. Maybe. That's weird that Maybe. it wouldn't let you do it though. Oh yeah, if you hit all four buttons, you go to sparkling mode. What? It'll bring your life back. It'll bring your life back. Well, how did I just switch? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Wait, no, Krillin didn't die. And now I just switch it back. Huh. What button did I just press? You did some sort of like combo into it. You did some sort of like combo into it. Yeah. Yo, I don't know what I just said. Click, 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 click. Oh, oh you're going to be back. Right. Uncle. Uncle. <laughs> Are y'all caught up on Super? Are y'all caught up on Super? I finished it. I finished it. Did you? Did you? Oh, oops! I didn't mean to attack you oh, while you were powering up. I didn't mean up. to attack you while you were powering up. Oh my! You got me. You got me. How did the? Uh, what? What? You're watching the uh, sub version, right? Or the dub version? I was trying to wait for the dubs to all come out, but that's impossible, obviously. So I've been watching some more of the, the sub, and they're just entering the intergalactic tournament now. Okay. Yeah. You got a while, so. Every episode is like a one minute in the, uh, in the tournament. Sometimes 30 seconds. Yeah. Yeah. You got that right. You got that right. Oh, I walked Man, right I in. I switched from 26% battery to like 5. <laughs> you guys gotta plug this stuff in. Play, play it on your TV. Play it on your TV. Woo! <laughs> Ooh. Push uh, down A. Push uh, down A. That launches that the person launches in the in the air. Person in the, in the air. A good simple combo is to hit down A and hit. then do a dash a and then attack. Then do a dash and then like attack. This. And then once you get the ability to and switch you people, you can switch, switch mid-air during, you mid during your attack. So you so can set it up like this. Oops. Up like oh, there when you die. How do you know which one's your character? I didn't know which character they were. Uh, they have a slightly right, different hue. I'm going to turn easy I gotta turn easy mode off. See that helps the button. Okay. Let me see if I can figure it out with you so I can tell you how. figure it out with you so I can tell you how. Yeah, I need to turn it off too. In start, there's a button settings, but <clears throat> I can't edit it from here. Maybe we have to get out or something. Okay, so, okay, so hit start, edit team. Hit start, edit team. And then if you hit ZR, then if you hit ZR, you can turn it on or off. It'll it light up if it's turned on, and, and it'll be damn dim if you have it turned off. If you have it turned off. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, okay. Oh, there we go. And then hit A to save or something. Like, or B to save, to I don't know. Or B to save. One of you turned it off. One of you turned it off. That's, yeah, my bad. <laughs> Who's playing? <laughs> uh, hold on. Uh, hold on. Oh, fuck. Wait, okay. Edit team. There you go. I'll watch you guys go at it. I'll watch you guys go at it. Let me try the Vita. 
That's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. Oh my goodness. Tristan, this game is sixty dollars new is unless it's on sale somewhere. Unless it's on sale somewhere. Paul, oh, by the way, you're in the watching column. That's me. Yeah, no, I'm still seeing that character. Oh, that's you. Yeah, it's me in the watching column. Yeah, me and the watch. Uh, Tristan, I would love to play uh, Dark Tristan, Souls Remastered. I've never Dark got Souls into Remastered. Dark Souls real heavily, but I was Souls thinking about getting it. I was thinking about getting it. Alright. All right. Ooh. You got Boo? You got Boo? Kid Boo! I gotta go after this one. <laughs> yeah, I think I do too. It's actually midnight yeah, for me. I Let me just plug in my charger for it dies for me. Hold on a second. Oh. Yeah, now my uh, button works. Oh, does it? So it must have been the easy mode. That's weird that they would turn that off. That's weird that they would turn that off. Yeah, see, I just Oh, I think Frank has that in here, but... What did you land up push, loading, Frank? Push. Did you land up loading, Frank? Um, I mean, like, <clears throat> I mean, I'm line from Alpha Kuma. Oh, cool. Which one? Oh, cool. Which one? Which uh, one? Black Dragon. Fallen Dragon, very nice. Fallen Dragon, very nice. Yeah, that one's very good. Does it remind you of, uh, something uh, yeah. Frank, look at my ass. You got this, Paul. You'll make a comeback. You got this, Paul. You'll make a comeback. Yeah, Tristan, I think the remaster yeah, has the multiplayer has stuff for the Switch as well. But I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Oh, you made a comeback. Oh, you made a comeback. Oh, yeah, he has a full Oh no! <laughs> Frank hit all four but buttons Frank at the same hit time. All four buttons at the same time. Uh, 
Uh, don't even worry about it. It'll, it'll, uh, don't even worry about it. It'll, it'll, it'll put you into a sparkling mode and bring back your life. All four at the same time. Oh, yeah, never mind. <clears throat> that was fun. I don't know how I did that. <laughs> that was a much better match than the first time. Much better match than the first time. You said press all the buttons. I pressed all the buttons and I did that. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, Paul wanna, and Frank, thank, learn, you Paul and Frank yeah. thank you so much for being a part of the longest GameCast we've ever done. Next Friday, we're going to be playing Super <laughs> Smash Brothers, so uh, make sure you guys get yeah, that. Uh, I'm going to go reserve it to Paul. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, sounds like a plan. All right, well, this is going to be it for the uh, A and Hookah Gamecast. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you want to know what my thoughts are on the Relics Ring, uh, tune into the start of it. And until next time, keep on smoking. Bye. Bye.